Late in 2018, DepEd officials went to the United States to visit some of the department's international partners. This was to establish the implementation of various programs and to facilitate future partnerships. The DepEd team attended the Oracle Open World 2018 and saw the projects of senior high school students of Oracle's Design Tech High School at the exhibit. The students were part of the elective exploration program, which consists of four two-week intercessions every school year on top of the regular curriculum. DepEd has asked Oracle to bring the same program to the Philippines in the future. So it's called the Communicator, and it's basically a chatbot that helps you optimize your daily commute by communicating your plans to people without you having to do anything. With the promise of the fourth industrial revolution, the Department of Education is adopting a new policy direction in transforming the Philippine education system. It is building a strong foundational framework and is fully supporting educational technology. This is the beginning of the public schools of the future's digital rise. Ang digital rise natin supports that particular aspect ng ating K-12 curriculum na binibigyan natin ng devices that are needed in order to deliver those uh, digital literacy skills sa ating mga bata. Then, secondly, ang ating digital rise, sinusupport niya yung, again, part ng K-12 curriculum kasi requires na yung ating mga teachers will be using ICT to strengthen their uh, yung pedagogical skills nila. No? So, part ng digital rise will be putting in yung mga computers and devices para sa ating teachers. So, that will include one laptop and a television or a digital board dun sa bawat classroom ng ating mga schools. And finally, uh, ang isang aspect din sa curriculum is uh, it requires na magkaroon ng access yung mga bata natin sa mga e-learning uh, resources. So, um, marami na tayong na-collect na mga digital resources from Khan Academy, from Wikipedia online, offline, and so on. Uh, around 300 gigabytes worth na of resources ang na-collect natin along with yung LR portal natin. And meron pang parating, uh, as soon as masahin yung MOA with the OST, uh, meron pang Starbucks na again around another 300 gigabytes worth of uh, learning resources. Another goal is to create in every public science high school an innovation hub where the latest available emerging technologies are provided for the use and manipulation of learners having ICT as an elective. The hub houses 3D printing technology, makerspace, robotics engineering and simulation, mechatronics facilities, and drone technology, among others. Well, this actually helped a lot, especially when children are exposed to the technology. I know some kids around, they also uh, started doing robotics way before than I did. And I was surprised that uh, all the ideas they had, and they were able to do so, mainly using the Lego Mindset Robotics. And I just wondered if they can make it in that uh, young of age. I wonder what will happen if they would go on and keep on learning about it. These innovations will not be limited to just a few schools. All public school learners are envisioned to have tablets or laptops or access to them. The transformative learning in using these educational devices enhances the 21st century skills of learners and bridges the digital divide, most especially in the last mile schools who are not exempt from the digital rise. With the digital rise, learners are encouraged to use their creativity and technology to make a difference in the world. DepEd's digital rise will be made possible through the continued efforts of the administration in partnership with international industry players to deliver quality and future-ready resources for the benefit of learners, teachers, and administrators, as well as the entire DepEd community. The digital rise in Philippine public education has begun. DepEd provides the best future for our learners by creating changes that mark the milestones of educational reform to teach minds, touch hearts, and transform lives. Welcome to the start of Philippine education's digital rise.
Congratulations, DepEd ICTS, under the leadership of Dr. Ebram Abanil, with the EdTech unit headed by Mr. Mark Anton C., with the coordination of Ms. Epriline Marquez of Region 1, for introducing online training in the development of interactive ebooks for all Filipino learners in the new norm, normal of delivering quality education. STO Canton City of Region 1 is very fortunate to be recipients or beneficiary of this online training program. And this will be participated in by the teachers and non-teaching personnel of both public and private institutions. May this innovation in education be interactive ebooks, helps facilitate the delivery of responsive, accessible, and flexible, as well as liberating quality education as our response to promote so long educalidad in the whole country. Thank you. To our regional director, Sir Tolentino Giacchino, to our assistant regional director, Sir Ronald Castillo, to our fellow workers from the regional office, to the participants of this uh, webinar, fellow teachers, fellow workers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, one and all. I would like to congratulate uh, and I'd like to express my heartfelt thanks to everybody, especially to the regional office, the central office, for coming up with this very relevant, much needed uh, webinar. We are now in what we call the, the new normal. So with the new normal also comes new activities that uh, which are necessary to address the new normal. And one of these is uh, the webinar. So to our fellow workers, to our fellow teachers, let's do our best for us to be able to cope with the very fast uh, change when it comes to technology. Let us uh, accept all our efforts. I repeat, we are now in the new normal. We have to be able to Oh, with the needs of the times. And to my fellow teachers who are adept at using the ICT and other technology, please share your knowledge. Please share with our uh, fellow workers. Let's all share this to our learners so that uh, education will continue. Despite the pandemic, education will have to continue. And this is one way of addressing our uh, education needs, the webinar. So again, to everybody, to the organizers of this webinar, uh, thank you, thank you to all the participants. Thank you. Uh, good luck. God bless and save us. Thank you. For participating in the webinar. You know, this is now the new normal. We cannot be in one group uh, physically together. But let's thank God we have uh, this technology that even if we are apart, it seems that we are just very near each other. So, my congratulations to the proponent of this webinar. Um, let's fill it. And let's think that everything that we are doing is for the betterment of the Department of Education. Let us also grow professionally through this. Congratulations. 
Okay, magandang umaga sa ating mga IT group na sila ngayon ang nag-facilitate ng ating trainings for the OER. I know you are eight uh, according to NATS. Uh, thank you very much. At sana tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang trainings niyo sa ating mga teachers. At uh, malaking bagay ito na inyong ginagawa na uh, mga IT group. Sana uh, maibaba niyo kaagad uh, with the tulong of uh, our ITO officer, uh, NATS. Again, uh, thank you to Sir C, Mark, and to uh, We started this in uh, in the division of San Carlos. Pinabilis po natin ito. At ngayon ay nandito na po sa Pangasinan One Division. And I promise na with the help of our eight uh, trainers, resource speakers na galing sa ating division of Pangasinan One, gagawin po natin mas mabilis ang pagbaba ng ating mga trainings na katulad nito. Again, congratulations and thank you to the IT group. Mabuhay kayo. Greetings to our Regional Director, Sir Tolentino Aquino, to our Assistant Regional Director, Sir Ronald B. Castillo, to fellow SOMOS, fellow educators, proponents, and participants to this training. A blessed day to everyone. I remember Stephanie Meyer, the author of Twilight, when she wrote in Let Me Go, I like the light, without the dark, we'd never see the stars. This pandemic incident, or the CCP virus, or the COVID-19 virus as known by everyone, is likened to a dark moment in our lives. However, there are also stars that shine, or that show our frontliners who we consider heroes nowadays and you fellow educators who are seeking ways in order to give the best to our learners whether we are in this quarantine period or in the future when our ECQ or GCQ is being implemented since you are a participant to this training I know in my heart and for sure that you are seeking ways to become better educators, hence to be able to give also what is best to our learners. May you continue to shine, may you continue to be stars in the heavens and help our country move forward as we are experiencing this moment. To everyone, there's a day Blessed training and thank you for participating in this event. A happy morning to everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic is the defining global health crisis of our time and the greatest challenge we have faced since World War II. Every country needs to act immediately to prepare, respond, and recover. The Department of Education has laid a number of rehabilitation plans and interventions in light of this pandemic. Debit Commons and Open Educational Resources, which are now being enjoyed by our learners, are two vital initiatives. To ensure the continuity of learning for schools during this global climate crisis, webinars such as these hopes to optimally inspire and engage teachers on the development of instructional materials and activities online. Among these are the production of electronic books, interactive problem solving in mathematics, and digital exploration and discovery in science. Our learners can have access with these vast resources either online or offline. This is the very objective and significance of this webinar. Hence, we expect you to unleash your creativity, technological ingenuity, and innovative skill. My dear nurturers and cultivators, we have to be bold enough in facing the new normal in school. Nothing is difficult if we have the passion to learn new things. Topping the list is learning to be a digitally literate learning facilitator and learning material creator. Para sa bata at para sa bayan, we should work with zeal, collaboration, and optimism. You are all called to take part 
in this webinar, top skill and reskill you on the development of online resources. This is now the call of the times. You need to prepare yourselves in response to the learning continuity plan of the Department of Education. You have an active role in creating resources that would benefit our learners. This activity is a great opportunity in sharing your knowledge, talent, and expertise in crafting digital materials that will certainly spell flexibility and interactivity in virtual learning. Let us be united in revolutionizing education in the country to teach minds, touch hearts, and transform the lives of learners. Providing them a variety of online resources while at home will deepen their love for learning and beef up their ties or engagement of their parents as their learning facilitators at home. To the prime movers of this endeavor, the Office of the Undersecretary for Administration and Information and Communications Technology Service Educational Technology Unit, I convey my warmest salute and gratitude. Thank you and have fun learning. Sir Dale, good morning. Haan kamat nga mangag. All right. Ayan. So All right. Good morning, Ma'am Paul. Naimbaga bigat, Sir Dale. Ah, naimbag nga bigat mo itkin ka, Ma'am. Para Ay, ka dadi. Naimbag nga dadi magtata. Well, it's a very good morning. Ta itidating al daw. We will be learning a lot of things again. That would be helpful for all of us as we uh, uh, as we take the challenge of the new normal, as we say. Ayan, so, na, sir. Yes. Oh, well. so para kadagiti uh, taga Pangasinan, ya yeah, masantos sa kabuasan ed si kayo amin. Ayun. Para para kadagiti. So, para mat kadagiti kailakwan tayo nga kapadpada akat na imbag abigat kada tayo amin kakabsat. Ayun. Tapay na pamata amin tayo ka naragsak itata abigat. Kan sapay la kumata Aside iti naragsak, uh, amin tayo kat ligtas na tatangal daw. Ayan, Sir Dale. Ayan. So, and yes, uh, Ma'am Apple, we are actually having this webinar training on ebook development and design authoring tools using Kotobi Author. So, it is one of the uh, suggested and recommended applications to be used by uh, the DepEd uh, for all uh, teachers nowadays as we really, uh, you know, uh, take the challenge of this uh, new normal, as we say. So, uh, talagang napaka timely, ma'am, ano? Na pag-aralan yeah, yeah, po sure. natin ang ang uh, application at on how to use it. So, uh, ma'am, I think uh, we uh, have here our uh, director. Oh, right. So, yeah. at this juncture, may we have the one of the frontliners of Department of Education, none other than director. Abram YC Abanel, the director for ICTS Division. Yes, sir. Good morning, po. Good morning, po, sir. Hello. Good morning, sa inyong lahat. Uh, maraming salamat, Aprilin and Dale, for uh, taking this uh, initiative uh, for, to conduct the, this, this training sa uh, Region One. Um, I'm sure all of you are uh, sa wala na sa pag uh, ano sa bahay no na uh, halos wala tayong magawa. And uh, we're already preparing. In fact, kailangan na, uh, kailangan na natin mag-prepare for the school opening this coming uh, August. And if you look at the situation, mara, malaki ang ating uh, kailangan uh, gagawin. No? Uh, kailangan tayo maghanda para sa new normal. And in the new normal, we can expect that even if uh, ECQ or GCQ is uh, lifted, ang mga klase natin uh, will not uh, will not be uh, purely face to face dahil meron tayong mga guidelines uh, that we have to implement with regards to social distancing sa mga discussions namin ngayon ang kailangan ang mangyayari niyan uh, during uh, school opening is ang mga class life sizes natin ay magiging maliliit dahil hindi natin ma Ka, pa, para ma-implement natin yung one uh, requirement ng DOH to have a one meter uh, distance uh, between people para hindi magkahawaan. Ang implication nito is dun sa elementary level, 
ang maximum class size lang natin will be 20 na bata and dito sa secondary level, it will be 15. So a lot of the times, yung mga bata natin will be at their uh, residences uh, instead of in the classrooms. Doon sila mag-aaral sa kanilang mga sari sariling mga bahay guided, uh, hope, uh, guided we hope by their parents. Uh, kaya dalawa ang actually kailangan natin gawin. Kailangan ma-prepare ang teachers, kailangan din ma-prepare ang uh, parents and also yung mga learners para sa ganitong uh, uh, situation that we are coming uh, into up in the upcoming school year. Ang isa sa strategies na ginawa namin uh, is what we call the, the pet commons. No? Uh, this is actually what just one of the strategies. Uh, ang pinakasanayan natin is uh, what we call yung mga printed na mga activities na pwedeng iuwi ng mga bata para gawin yung mga uh, exercises, mga lessons nila sa sariling bahay nila. Uh, marami na actually mga situations na ginagawa to sa mga homeschooling, uh, ginagawa to even dun sa common na tutoring, uh, makikita mo walang uh, hindi tinu tutor actually yung mga bata pero ang mga bata gumagawa lang sila ng exercises and uh, in doing these exercises, natututo sila. Yung ginagawa namin sa ICT is what we call yung sa DepEd Commons. Ang objective namin is maglagay ng uh, e-book, uh, bawat grade level, bawat subject area for each week in the curriculum. So, ang expectation namin dito, kung gra uh, 12 grade levels, saka 5 subject areas, kailangan namin mag-produce ng mga 60 na e-books uh, para anytime na magkaroon ng quarantine or hindi pwede mag- uh, face-to-face -face classes yung uh, mga bata dahil sa requirements ng social distancing, pwedeng isa sa options ng teachers is i-assign yung mga bata dito sa uh, ipapunta sa Deped Commons and then uh, pwede nila i-download yung mga e-books uh, at magawa nila yung mga exercises. Uh, itong e-books na to, um, they are quite uh, powerful. No? Hindi ito yung mga nakasanayan natin dati na flat PDF file na ang magawa mo lang is basahin mo yung uh, e-book. Walang interactive components involved. Yung e-books na to, uh, pwede namin lagyan ng, of course, yung mga text and images. But pwede na natin i-embed yung mga videos. So once ma-download yung uh, e-books, uh, yung mga videos, pwede na ma-view mo ng bata within that ebook, even without uh, internet. Pwede din namin ma natin ma-embed yung mga interactive games, mga crossword puzzles, mga even uh, 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 mga mga tests, no? More na automatic magbibigay ng feedback. For example, may gusto kang mapasok sa ebook na multiple choice na test, pagsagot ng bata, kalabas later yung uh, tamang uh, sagot or kung ano yung mga malit niya para automatic may feedback kaagad sa bata uh, which will be more enriching compared sa uh, printed na mga materials um, dahil uh, unang-una interactive saka uh, may automatic feedback. So ito yung mga tools na ituturo namin sa inyo. Uh, this is uh, one of the very uh, powerful tools that we have found is itong Kotobi author. Uh, you will be taught yung uh, free version ng Kotobi. Unfortunately, ongoing pa yung pag-procure uh, pag namin sa ano, no? sa license version. Kaya uh, free version muna ang gamitin niyo. But Pero even with the free version, ang dami na talaga ninyong magagawa uh, dito, sa, uh, dito para sa uh, makatulong sa inyo sa pagtuturo ng mga bata. So, uh, dito sa central office, sa Casa Regions, we have already actually trained around mga 1,700 na division personnel and regional per personnel para tutulong mag-develop ng mga e-books ang na-i-upload namin sa DepEd Commons. We are extending this dito sa inyo, sa mga teachers, para primarily para may flexibility kayo. No? Saka uh, kung na Kikita ninyo na kulang pa yung mga materials dun sa DepEd Commons at kailangan nyo dagdagan para sa inyong mga klase. We would like you to have that flexibility. Kasi very important dito sa COVID situation, uh, given that ang daming uncertainties, ang daming biglang ang mangyari. At hindi lang naman COVID ang in-expect natin. No? Baka uh, most likely there will be uh, other disasters that will be coming in the near future. Uh, we would like ang teachers natin. Uh, kayo mga teachers to have flexibility, more flexibility, to have more tools uh, when you are up uh, in front of your classes para mas mabilis kayo makapag-adjust 
makapag-respond sa uh, sa situation ngayon which is uh, changing uh, uh, quite uh, quite fast no? uh, ang isa pa rin kailangan i-incorporate dito sa ating mga e-books which we cannot handle dito sa central level is yung pag-localize ng mga materials especially sa inyong mga local dialects no um itong Kotobi author will allow you to do that aside from that pwede din mapasok yung mga uh, inclusivity aspect for example yung mga for the blind no pwede ninyo i-activate yung uh, audibles kaya yung e-book kakaroon ng uh, uh, automatic yan eh. Pag English, merong yung facility yung ating uh, computer sa yun which can convert text to speech. So, madali nang mag-provide ng inclusivity for the blind basta English yung material. Of course, kung local uh, dialect, kailangan kayo yung mag, uh, mag-gap ng voiceovers. No? Para naman sa ating mga deaf, for English materials, madali lang din uh, sa ngayon uh, kung tingnan mo yung Google Translate saka yung um, Microsoft Translators, uh, kung magsasalita ka in English, very uh, automatic yan, labas ng subtitle and very very accurate yung uh, actually paggawa uh, ng subtitle nila na yun. And easily you can get this, uh, record these subtitles i-embed din nyo dun sa mga videos uh, magiging accessible na yung mga videos no, in you, even for the uh, deaf na students. No? So these are some of the very powerful tools that you can uh, uh, incorporate sa inyong mga lessons using e-books, uh, using itong uh, Kodopi author. So I hope na uh, you can learn a lot from this uh, particular uh, training that uh, we are conducting and that you can make use of them uh, in your respective uh, classes. Good morning and maraming salamat sa inyo ulit sa pag-attend dito. Yun, so maraming maraming salamat, Director Abram, ang ating pong Director 4. Maraming salamat po, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Napakahalaga ng inspirational message ni sir dahil naibigay sa atin, na-emphasize sa atin ang kakalagahan ng e-book and even these webinars. Ayun, yes, sir. Ma'am. Yes, sir, Dave? Ayun. Pagkitin yes, naman po natin, guhit naman po natin ang ating mga divisions in Region 1. Start with, first we have Alamino City Division. Mga participants po natin sa Alamini City Division with our SDS, none other than Dr. Lorna G. Bugayong. Yes, Sir Dale? Yes, we also have our participants from Batak City Division, uh, headed by Sir Joel B. Lopez. And good morning po. And napakarami po nating participants. And also with Candon City Division, headed by Sir Anselmo R. Aludino. Yeah, we'd also like to acknowledge ang ating pong mga participants from the Gupan City Division. Okay, headed by Ma'am Maria Salia Cunio Fernandez. Ma'am, good morning po. Ayan. Tsaka rin po, we would like also to acknowledge and recognize our participants. Nga aga po iti Locos Norte Division, nga pinanguluan ni Madam Joan A. Corpus. Ayan, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, so good morning. Ibang gabigat. We also would like to acknowledge ang ating mga participants from the uh, Schools Division Office of Ilocosur, headed by Sir George uh, Reynante. Good morning po sa mga taga Ilocosur. Ayan, and also itinagapwak a uh, town we have here from a province or shall I say the division coming from La Union Division, headed by Attorney Donato D. Balderas Jr., Ayan, dyan po ako nang galing sa Division of La Union. Kawai-kawai po tayo dyan. Good morning po. Ayan, so good morning, La Union. Now, move on tayo sa north. <laughs> okay, Ayan. Lawag City Division, headed by Bil- Ma'am Vilma D. Eda. Ma'am, good morning. And to all of our participants uh, coming from Lawag City. And also participants coming from Pangasinan 1, headed by the OIC, SDS, none other than Madam Sheila Marie A. Permesias. Good morning po. Ayan, so good morning po. And we also have from Pangasinan 2 Division. Okay, headed by Sir Danilo C. Season. Good morning po sa ating po mga participants yan. Malapit lang ako. <laughs> Ayan, napuntahan natin yan Sir Dale. Ayan. And also, San Carlos City Division, headed by Madam Gloria R. Torres. Ayan, so good morning po sa ating mga, mga participants dyan. We also have from San Fernando City Division. Okay, San Fernando City, La Union. 
Okay, headed by Ma'am Rowena C. Banzon. Good morning po sa ating po mga participants dyan. At ito naman, kaslan sa namay may at Sir Dale na si Katimang Iyam Amo Day Tunay. Amo, madito ka nga nag po. Yes, Sir Dale. <laughs> well, we'd like to welcome lahat po ng mga kasamahan ko dito sa Schools Division Office, Urdaneta City. Of course, headed by our uh, Schools Division Superintendent, Madam Fatima R. Buado. So, good morning po mga kasama ko dito po sa Urdaneta City Division. Ayan, last Ayan, but not the least. We would like also to acknowledge all the participants coming from the Vegan City Division headed by Madam Gemma Q. Takuy Koy. Ayan, si Ma'am Gemma, na-meet ko yan. Nakapa, napaka, ano, parang jolly-jolly si Madam. Ayan, good morning po sa lahat ng participants from Vegan City Division. Ayan. Ano, so, yes, uh, siguro ma'am, we'd uh, like to remind all those uh, who are with us today. Dahil uh, yes. hindi lang po Region 1 ang nakakapanood sa atin, but exactly. all over the world. But uh, to remind everyone, this is actually po uh, dedicated po sa atin pong Region 1 participants. You still will, uh, may join ano po ang ating pong webinar yes. for, uh, for you to have an advanced, uh, you know, uh, parang discussion uh, or topic uh, with regards to this topic. So yun pong gagawin ng mga nasa ibang region because you will also be having this. Ano? Yes, sir. So, Actually, sir, Dale, marami na nga tayong query, maraming katanungan kung sila ba'y makakasali dito. Um, ito po ang good news dyan, hindi man po kayo nakaregister sa kadahilan ng ito po ay exclusively only for Region 1, pero ang magandang balita po dyan ay mapapanood nyo naman po via FB Live ang ating webinar session at matututo po kayo regarding sa ating session ngayon. Ayan, sa mga announcement lang po sa ating mga registered participants na wala pong pangalan sa ating um, memo, ito po, binibigay po namin sa inyo ang ating link kung saan po kayo mag-register. Ayan, kasi marami na pong nag-aalala, Sir Dale. Baka ang pakiramdam nila, hindi sila kasali. Ako din naman, baka naman, ayan. Yes, Sir Dale? So nga, kaya nga, importante po na tayo po ay uh, register. So to, sa mga wala pong pangalan ano, on the official list of participants coming from Region 1. Okay, Region 1. Ito po, uh, may link po dyan po sa ating pong, uh, screen. Access lang po natin yan at mag-register po tayo for those uh, whose names are not included po sa ating pong, uh, official list of participants. Thank you. Ayan, ma and I would like also to take this chance, Sir Dale. Gusto ko rin pong pasalamatan ang lahat ng ating ITOs. Lahat-lahat hmm. na pong ITOs sa ating Region 1 na sila po ang ating kaakibat para magkaroon po tayo ng napakakandang number ng ating participants. Maraming maraming salamat po. Shout out po sa lahat ng mga ITOs po natin sa Region 1. Ayan, yeah. Sir. Okay. Yes, Sir so, Dale. Siguro review lang tayo sa mga ibang uh, ibang mga webinars recently ano kasi this is just in continuation po ng ating pong mga ginagawa okay pa from starting from basic OER we already yes, had sir, the, uh, yes and then meron din po tayong advanced na doon po okay. nag-enjoy <laughs> nag-enjoy ng todong todo yung ating pong mga participants especially with regards to ano na yun ma'am LMS you model ma'am ano Tama, maraming nag-e-enjoy yan. Ayan. Oh, oh. So Ayan, by this transfer, I think we need to present to them the house rules. At our yes, orientation so. with this uh, webinar session, I would like to share with you our screen. Ayan. Antay-antay lang po tayo. Ayan, so yan nga. Okay, sure Nakikita po ba natin ang ating house rules? Nakikita po ba natin ang ating ang ating screen? Sir Dil, nakikita po ba? Yes po. Ayan. Ayan. So, ang ating house rule, una, set your microphone to mute. Turn it on only during the Q&A. Once undressed by the lecture. So, second, turn camera off if experiencing difficulty in connection. Yes, Sir Dil, for number three? Yeah. So we also have to, this is very important, listen attentively to the lecturer. Okay, makinig po tayo mabuti. We also need to participate actively during the discussion and most especially, hands-on activities because we will be requiring you outputs. Ma'am, Ma'am April? So in case there is an urgent matter, give a private chat or PM to the lecturer. And also for number six, for questions, please follow the format. And ito na nga po, we need to indicate the division followed by the question. Like for example, LU. 
Dosh, do we need to purchase an account in Kotobi? Ayan po. Ayan po yung format natin kapag tayo po ay magtatanong. Ayan. And of course, number seven, yes, Sir Dale? Okay, so this is very important, which uh, I believe na nagawa mo po natin. Download the needed software and hands-on exercises materials as indicated by the lecturer. So you'll mapapalo up po ito mamaya. And let us be reminded yeah. that our session is recorded. That means to say, ma'am, na pwede po natin balikan yung ating pong uh, webinar session para po in case na may mga hindi naintindihan, pwede po nilang mabalikan po itong ating pong session. And lastly, ma'am. Tama ka dyan, sir. Feedback, comment, and suggestion you should be given at the end of the session. So, tandaan po natin ang ating mga house, rule, um, house rules po natin. So, eto yeah. nga po. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-install, ito po ang ating uh, installer. Ayan po ang ating link. So, Sir Dale, yeah. I think it's our time also to introduce our moderators. Yes. Okay, Ayan. so we are uh, we are so, uh, you know, blessed and privileged to have here with us. Uh, Nakaantapay po sila online, okay, to answer our different queries. They are our national core leaders and as well as, of course, ang ating pong mga... Uh, moderators from the central office. So, ayan. Ayan. So, gaano man po, or gabundok po ang gawain ng ating mga educational technology specialists, ayan, masaya po silang naglilingkod sa atin. Baka naman, pwede po natin silang banggitin isa-isa, Sir Dale? Yes, of course, ang ating po moderators from the educational technology unit. So, our educational technology specialist, we have Sir Alan E. Palaganas. Ayan. Of course, we, we also have... also, have... ma'am... Rosemary de Abesha and Sir Sherwin Gilomeda. Yes, and uh, we also have Sir Ariel de Los Santos. Ang lagi po natin nakikita in the past. And we also have, uh, ang nasa behind the scene now, Mark Anthony F. Papa. Sir, good morning po. And also, ito, bigatin to, sa, ang isa sa mga kasama na hatin, si Madam Rowena A. Reyes. Ayan. Of course, uh, si Sir Mark Anthony F. Hamisal, ang lagi pong nakakasama po natin. At siyempre, si Sir Salvador E. Manansala. Ayan, kasama po natin sila. And also, huh? ang ating kasama, Sir Raymond V. Kasama. And yours, <laughs> At siyempre, yeah. At si Ma'am Aprilin and, po from La Union. Yeah. So, ang yun pa ating pong mga moderators yeah, from Central Office. Na mga ating pong... Uh, uh, OER po, ay meron din po moderators coming from our own region. Okay. Actually, may, sila po ay uh, naging uh, tinatawag po natin OER National Core Leaders. And they are coming from different divisions ng ating pong region. Starting off with the, the school's division office of uh, the city of San Fernando, La Union. Okay, ma'am. They are? They are Ma Maria Magdalena El Lucao, as well as Madam Juvi and M. Fernandez, and Ma'am Lovely Adela V. Hasildone. Hayan, sila po Hi. ang Tres Marias. Yan, na OE National Core Leaders po ng ating uh, SFC Division. Yes. Next po, we also we have our national, yeah, national Core Leaders from San Carlos City Division. So we have uh, Cipriano Arena, sir. We have Norman Banculita. We also have Sheila Marie Austria. Mary Grace Caranto and Mark Linden Baguio. Ayan. I think they, they there's more. Ma'am? Yes. We have Sir Jose Rani G. Martinez, Ma'am Jessica P. Posadas, Sir Jeric G. Tagulaw, Sir Rilmar F. Trinidad. Ayun. And uh, completing the list ng ating pong OER National Core Leaders sa San Carlos City, we have uh, Joanna Lazel Castro, Dexter D. Guzman, Sir Roldan Eden and Sir Peter Paul Mejia. So those Ayan, are all for you. talaga tayo, sir. Yes po. So moving forward po naman tayo sa ating uh, national core leaders po ng Pangasinan 1. We have here Sir Alvin AC, our Ma'am Arceli G. Kamba, Ma'am Ronaline A. Mamital, Ma'am Blesilda B. Vocal, Ma'am Ronaline R. Benitez, Sir Virgilio O. Carol Nilo, Sir Darwin Arbona and Sir Anthony G. Miranda. Ayan. Ayan. So, thank you. And also, we have our the moderators, uh, OER National Core Leaders from Pangasinan 2 Division. Uh, in the person of uh, Sir Rodolfo L. Aquino and Ma'am Minerva Grace Silvestre. Ayan. At ito, sir. 
ang acting nag-iisang OER National Core Leader ng School Division Office ng Ordinate City. Siya po mismo ang aking partner ngayon. Partner ko sa pagiging host ng Other Than. Yan, si Sir Fidel G. Domingo. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ayun. Moving, so, moving forward. Okay. Now we have... Uh, uh, the division which has the greatest number because uh, sila po yung <laughs> pioneer ng ating pong OER. Ano po, sila po yung unang uh, umimbrace ng ating pong OER. We have, uh, uh, first, we have Ma'am Antoinette as uh, Arans. Yeah. Ayan, si Ma'am. We also have Ma'am Anna Marie T. Maala. There you are. We have Sir Alexis Emmanuel Balago. We have also Ma'am Bridgeline C. Runas. Ayun. And we also have Brenda A. De La Peña, ma'am. Good morning. We also have Ma'am Carmelita D. Dinorog. Sir Christian R. Bumatay. As well as Ma'am Cindy A. Sumaui. We also have Christita C. Ferrer, ma'am. Yan. Si Ma'am Glenda A. Pagadian. Yan. Ma'am Jennifer D. Madayag. Sir Jeremy B. Arumpa. Ayan. We also have Sir Joel N. Galvez. As well as Ma'am Joey B. Likos. We also have Ma Mary Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary Chris A. Onyas. Sir Mario B. Sotelo Jr. Good morning, sir. Yeah. We also have Ma'am Marisa Tugare, ma'am. As well as Ma'am Marisa Arma Palo. Ayun. We also have Sir Marlon Pasqua. And also, Ma'am Mary Grace T. Ginoma. From Melinda so Q. Pagaduan. Ayun. And of course, Sir Mark T. Fernandez. Ayun. We also have Ma'am Nieves, <laughs> ang ating mami, Castellione. Daming blessings, yeah. <laughs> sir. Daming blessings. Dami natin. Yes. <laughs> we also have Sir Renato S. Deliza Jr. We have some more, Ma'am Riza Aquino. And of course, Sir Ronald A. Rigua. And Ma'am Rosemary Oredena. And of course, Ma'am Charlene Claire R. Arcedo. And we would like also to include Ma'am Shian Kerpuz, one also of our national career leaders from Nagilian Po. Nagilian, wow. uh, from, uh, of course, from La Union Division Po. Ayan. Ang saya kasi ang dami nating mga moderators na makakatulong sa lahat po ng ating mga participants. Yeah. And so, so, uh, ayan. so thank you sa ating pong mga moderators na kasama po natin mamaya na sasagot sa mga uh, katanungan ng ating pong mga participants. So once again, we'd like to remind uh, our participants to just post uh, you know, your questions or queries on the comment box sa ating pong FB Live ano, and ayan. even sa ating pong YouTube. Okay. And we Sir, do you excited ka na ba? Na, excited. Kanina ba yes. ako excited at nagigigil na gusto ko nang mm -hmm. mapanood ang ating resource speaker dahil alam ko marami tayong matututunan ngayon. Ay, excited yun. na excited na ako. <laughs> and for sure, lahat ng, ating mga, lahat ng ating mga participants. And of course, parang nararamdaman ko, paparating na siya. Ikaw, sir, ano sa tingin mo? Andiyan na yes. ba si sir? Ramdam na ramdam ko na ang napaka-effective na ng sketch. Yeah. Yun po. Napaka-warm kasi ngayon na uh, alam ko maraming marami tayong makakasamang participants. At ang, ang kagandahan nito, sir, hindi lang sa Region 1, tama po ba? Halos buong mundo tama. nanonood sa atin ngayon. So, Region 1, you are blessed. We are blessed. So, lalong-lalo na Apo Dagiti Manosuro sa tayo. Nagpatagday tayong aal daw. Tanaikan tayo itinapatagmat ng resource speaker. Ayan! Ayan. <laughs> yes, go ahead, ma'am. Just, uh, maybe it's about time for us to be able to know kung sino po ang ating pong napakagaling at napakahusay yes. na, re na resource speaker uh, sa umagang ito. Who will be talking about, uh, of course, uh, the ebook development and design authoring tools using Katobi Author. Ma'am? Go ahead. Ayan. So, I still remember last year, halos katatapos lang yung anniversary ng OER. So, with that, we would like to introduce to you our resource speaker, none other than the, the soul, the minds, and the heart of this 
none other than Dr. Mark Anthony C. C. Ang tinatawag kong dating Master Henyo. Sir Mark C., magandang umaga po. Good morning po, ma sir. Hello, good morning. Ayan. So, I hope, pasensya na. Dugyot talaga ako ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Walang available na barberia. <laughs> anyway, uh, to our Region 1 participants, I'm sorry if I cannot speak in Ilocano, but I will try my best to deliver the training workshop for you in a, in a very efficient way. Kayo po ang kauna-unang region na amin pong bibigyan na ganitong klase ng training in terms of the utilization of an ebook format or the creation of an ebook using Kutobi Author. So, ready na ba kayo? <laughs> okay. So, if you are ready, my dear colleagues, ito ang kinakailangan ninyong tandaan ha. Number one, follow my direction uh, attentively. Ito ay gagawin natin na gagawin ko, sasabayan ninyo ako, pero bibigyan ko kayo ng enough time to do it. Okay? Rest assured that I will not be that fast. I will uh, give you this uh, training program na parang katabi nyo lang po ako na nagchichikahan tayo o nagkukwentuhan. So, we will be making it very comfortable. And in case you have questions, feel free to message because we have a lot of moderators, our OER national core leaders from Region 1. Okay, pakilala na po sila kanina. So, I hope you have already accessed and downloaded the necessary software which is indicated right there. So, nakalagay po, you go to tinyurl.com slash proficiency OER because the ebook development is one of the component in the proficiency OER. I isa lang siyang component. Ibig sabihin nun, when you attend our proficiency program next week, there will be much more to it. Okay? So, with that, sir, Ako na ba ang bahala? <laughs> yes. Let's go ahead, sir. Okay, so I'll be sharing now my screen. I hope nakikita niyo po ang aking screen ngayon. Okay. So we will be discussing all about the Kotobi uh, author material, okay? So allow me to discuss to you these things. Kapag kayo ay nakapag-install na ng ating uh, Kotobi, ang una ninyong makikita rito ay kung ano ang kanyang mga layout, okay? So... When we have Kutubi author, ang unang itatanong sa atin dyan, once we have loaded it, ano ang klase ng material na ating gagawin? So there are two types. One which is what we call as the reflowable, and then the other one is a fixed layout. Sir, so ano ba sir, ang sir, yes po, sir, sir, yes, sir, hindi po po share ang inyong screen. Ah, okay. Okay pa. Sir, naglo-load ang aking screen, hindi pa siya ma-share. Sir, Papa, I think I need to disconnect first kasi nagkakaroon ng uh, technical issue sa aking laptop. I'll just need to uh, disconnect first, sir. Okay? Okay lang po ba, okay. Sir, Papa? Sige po, sir. Sir? Sige po. Kasi yung aking sharing okay. screen ay may problem. Okay po. Hey, Ayan, sir, Dave. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> Napitin ako doon. <laughs> Ayan, for Kaya, sure, nga. lahat Anyways, tayo the... nag Ayan. Connection yes, natin, naririnig ko ba tayo? So, uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes we... <laughs> yeah. Uh, we sometimes cannot avoid technical difficulties like this dahil nga we are uh, dependent sa ating pong uh, speed ng internet connectivity natin. But at any rate, yes. yeah, uh, we have a lot to expect. You know? We have a lot to expect sa ating yeah, pong yeah. session today. Dahil nga po, ito po ay, ito po yung sinasabi actually ng ating pong mga uh, leaders, ating pong mga heads sa ating pong central office 
na talagang platform mm-hmm. na magiging isa sa mga alternative, di ba? Nagagamitin po in the uh, delivery Tama. ng ating po, learning delivery po. Di ba, ma'am? So, ayun. Tama, sir. Kaya... Kahit nga ikaw nga nila na uh, we have the social distancing, we are working at home, but definitely we are having this kind of webinars na kung saan ang dami pa rin nating matututunan, ang daming learnings, wherein everyone can grow with this. Tama po ba, sir? And... Yes po, ayan. Kaya while we are still contained <laughs> sa ating pong mga bahay, oh, ang daming eh, shout-out! Yeah. <laughs> yes Sir, po. Sir, lang daming shout-out! <laughs> yun nga. Sige, una, ano bang mga shout-out natin? So, ayan, sabi po ni uh, Golda Mir La Fuente Racoma. Uh, good morning, yeah. watching from President Corazon C. F. Kino Elementary School, Quezon City. Mom, thank you po for supporting their uh, this uh, webinar and for uh, joining yes. us. Hindi po galing ng Region 1, but still, they are with yes. us today, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, go ahead. Well, we also have Ma'am Janet Sariano Usan. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Watching from Valerio Elementary School, 10159. Ayan, nandyan pa ang school, Adi. A district of mga karem. Yan, ang Pangasinan. Good morning. Ayun. So, meron din po tayo from Ma'am Roblin Lozada. Good morning po, watching from Pangasinan 2, Tayug Central Ayan, School. Two. Medyo malapit sa akin. Ayan. So, Ayan. sino po ba? Hmm. From SDO Pangasinan 1 naman po tayo. With Ma'am Joanna Abilia Adamos. Ayan, napaka-unique po ng pangalan ni Ma'am. Is the, hindi ko sure <laughs> kung yun po yung tamang pronunciation natin. Basta hindi, marorong spelling. Ayan. Of Infanta District, Infanta Integrated School. Good morning, Ma'am. Good morning po. We also have uh, Ma'am Joy Borjas Tunglao. This is, or this webinar is my first. Thank you for wow. the chance to be part of it. Ma'am, you'll surely enjoy this. <laughs> Kaya po, uh, just uh, be with us up to the very end of our session today. Ayan. Sir Ayan. Dale, pa-shout out din naman po ako sa ating OER National Core Leaders, <laughs> ang, ang ating mga volunteers. Sir Dale, meron din po tayong Cluster 1 anniversary and this yes. is it. It's today, especially. Kung naalala ko, may mga team tayo dyan. Meron tayong Team Isaw, wow. Team Pinatog. <laughs> Team Ayun. Tok Neneng, nagsisimula pa lang tayo niyan. Team Banana Q, naku po, baka may nakalimutan pa po ako oh, isang team. Mapapalo ako na ito. Ayan. Shout out Ayun. po and happy anniversary for Cluster 1 ng ating mga OER cards. Mm-hmm. Yan po, na- sir. Yeah, so uh, we'll read more of our shout outs from Jocelyn Agsaway Fernandez. Watching from San Pablo Elementary School, Umingan, Pangasinan 2 Division. Mm-hmm. See? Talagang inabangan, yeah. sir. Yes po, napakarami po. Ano? And uh, yeah, Ma'am uh, April. Ano na din po natin, to, sir? Yeah. to remind them. We would um, like also to ano to remind our participants, especially Region 1 for your registration. For sure, marami pong nag-aalala, baka wala po yung pangalan nila sa ating uh, OUA MO memo. So Pinaalala ko po sa inyo ang ating registration. Please do it so po. Huwag po kayong mag-alala dahil with that, we will consider po. Ayan. And also, our installer, don't forget that po. Ayan. Ayun. We would like so, also to consider, sir, and I mean, we would like to acknowledge. Maybe I forget someone. We also have Ma'am Ra- Raquel Rarang Rivera, our national career leader. Of Alamino City. Oh, oh. meron po pala from <laughs> okay. Alamino City. Hello, ma'am. Thank you so much for yeah. makakasama natin chat today. Okay, thank you so much po, ma'am. And now, I think uh, uh, Sir Mark is uh, ready, now ready, and he's back. So, uh, Sir Mark, are you in? <laughs> All right, so there he is, Sir Mark. <laughs> I hope Hello, okay now ang, ang aking laptop. <laughs> Bumibigay po siya ngayon. Anyway, uh, just like I have mentioned earlier, uh, we are going to have Kutubi author as our uh, material. So before we proceed, allow me to share to you kung ano po ba ang Kutubi uh, author. Okay? So I will not have first end screen. Magpupento po muna ako sa inyo while the material is still loading. Okay? So when we talk about Kotobi Author, it is actually an authoring tool wherein we can create our own uh, instructional tools by making it an, a 
as an ebook format. Okay? So, ang kinakailangan po ninyo ay magkaroon po kayo muna ng installer nun. So, to do that, you need to install uh, the tinyurl.com slash proficiency OER. Nakalagay po dyan kung ito po ba ay uh, kinakailangan for Windows or kinakailangan po ninyong gumamit ng Mac. Okay? So, to start with, isi-share ko po muna sa inyo ang aking screen para po mas ma-visualize ninyo at maintindihan kung ano ang aking tinutukoy. Okay? So, I hope mag-project na ngayon ang aking screen at hindi na siya mag-hang. Ayan. Okay. So, nakikita na po ba yung screen ko, sir? <laughs> okay na po ba ito? Ayan. Okay. So, when you have loaded your Kotobi author, ito po kasi ang mga makikita. Okay? I'll just explain it first. We have the reflowable and then the fixed layout. Ano ang difference nilang dalawa? Pag sinabi nating reflowable, ito po yung klase ng ebook na sumasabay sa ating device. Ibig sabihin nun, kung gusto nating lakihan ang kanyang font size, nagagawa natin yun by clicking the plus symbol. So, Kung ako ang tatanungin, ito yung helpful sa ating mga learners, sa ating mga end users. Reflowable ang layout na tinatawag ngayon. But when we talk about fixed layout, kung paano natin siya dinestine, ganun lang talaga yung kanyang itsura. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-augment. Uh, kung maliit ang ating cellphone o maliit ang device, sasabayan niya mismo yun. Kaya... Uh, mahirap, ang mahirap doon kung malabo yung matanong taong babasa, hindi niya mapapalakihan, hindi niya maa-adjust. So in other terms, ang sinabi natin reflowable, the users can adjust it. Okay? Pag sinabing fixed layout, wala tayong magagawa doon. Yun na talaga siya kung anong itsura ng device, sasabayan niya yung, yung inyong layout. Okay? So as a suggestion, we use reflowable layout. Okay? So ito yung screen natin. For sure, may iba sa inyo na nagsasabi, Sir, hindi ko alam na ano kung reflowable ba o fixed layout ang pinili ko. Ganito po yun, mga mga, mga sir. Para hindi po kayong malito, ang gagawin nyo lamang po, on the upper side portion, you will have the word new. Just simply click that. Kung sakali pong hindi kayo nakapili kanina kung reflowable o fix, ito pong upper portion na merong new. Okay, lalakihan ko po ah. Imamagnify ko. Ayan. On the upper portion, you'll have here the word new. Click that and then sasabihin niya, have you chosen to create a new book? Just choose yes para po makapili tayo kung ito ay reflowable o fixed layout. Kasi for sure yung iba sa inyo, nag-open na siya kanina. Okay? So, Ayan po ah, napaliwanag ko po na maayos kung papaano po makakapili kung ito ay reflowable o fixed layout. Just click the word new right on top. Now, I'll choose reflowable. To begin with our session, meron tayo mga materials na kinakailangan ilagay. So, I want you to follow me. Okay? There are instances that we need to type a material. Ito yung mga paglalagay natin ng contents. So for the sake of this activity, I want you to follow me. I repeat, for the sake of this activity, I want you to follow me. Okay? Halimbawa, ang letrang U ay isang atini. Since I am a, a grade school Filipino teacher sa lower grades, ito po muna yung aking inilagay. Okay? Ngayon. Ang gusto kong gawin ninyo, kopihin ninyo kung ano yung aking inilagay. I know that you are a teacher in a different field, but for the sake of this activity, please follow my sentence. Okay? So, itype ninyo ngayon muna sa inyong computer, ang letrang U ay isang patini. Okay? Do it. I'll give you 30 seconds to do that. Go to your kotobi and type, ang letrang U ay isang patini. Okay? Do it. Remember, 30 seconds lang po ang aking ibinigay. Kokopyahin ninyo kung ano ang aking inilagay. This is for you. Ha, uh, ang reason for it, for you to visualize kung ano ang aking itinuturo. So we have something in common. And then after that, pwede kayong makagawa at maiimagine ninyo kung para saan ba siya. Okay? 10 seconds remaining.
Okay. So, ang aking inilagay dito ay ang letrang U ay isang patinig. After that, after this sentence, ang gusto kong mangyari ay kapag ikinilig ko ang letrang U, there is a specific definition for it. Okay? So, pwede ninyong gawing bold kasi yan. Okay? Kagaya lang ginagawa natin sa usual word format or sa PowerPoint so we could highlight it and make it bold. Okay. Nang ginawa ko siyang bold, gusto ko may element of surprise. So, ano ibig sabihin ng element of surprise? Kapag ikinilig ang salitang ito, may magpa-pop up. So, para siyang hyperlink. And to do that, we will put the interactivity by using the link. So, saan yung link? Observe the right portion of your screen. You'll have there the word link. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po nito, pag pinindot ang isang salitang hinighlight natin, may lalabas na surprise or link. Okay? So, to do that, tignan nyo po gagawin ko ha. I'll highlight letrang U and I'll click link. Okay? Pagkapindot ko po nung link, may lalabas po dyan na to website, to book location, pop-up message. Ang pipiliin ko ay pop-up message. Bakit? Pag pinindot yung letrang U, ito ang mensahe na lalabas. Okay? So, I'll type now the message. Ang letrang U ay isa sa mga patini sa ating alpabeto. Ang mga patinig ay letrang A, B, I, O, at U. So as you could see, ang aking inilagay na mensahe ay ito. Ang letrang U ay isa sa mga patinig sa ating alpabeto. Ang mga patinig ay letra... Ang mga patinig... Sorry. Ang mga patinig na ito ay letrang A, E, I, O, at U. Now, after that, I'll hit the word create. Okay? So, kung mapapansin ninyo ngayon, yung letrang U ko, nagbago siya ng color. Sir, bakit siya nagbago ng color? Ganito yun. Pag ikinilig kasi natin yan, lalabas dapat yung link. So remember, ang ginawa ko, tinipe muna natin yung salita, hinighlight natin yung letrang U, and then we click link. Now, to visualize what I am talking about, on the upper portion of your screen, you'll see the word customize. Ibig sabihin nun, sa edit, dito tayo nagtatype, dito tayo gumagawa. Ang customize, doon natin siya ma-visualize. So to do it, hit the word customize. And then, you choose the specific device. Okay, click nyo lang dyan na yung okay. Once it's fully loaded, pag nag-load na po siya, pipili lang kayo ng gusto ninyong equipment or device. So, for example, ang gusto ko ay yung Samsung Galaxy. So, once you have loaded it, oops, Restart lang natin siya. So, dito yung po visualize or makikita yung mismong ating inilagay na link. Kasi ito po yung ating emulator. Okay? So, pag dyan po nakita or na-preload po yung ating material, dun yung po makiklik yung ating inilagay dito sa letrang U. Okay? So, again, dito po sa edit, dito tayo nagta-type. To visualize it, kailangan natin i-click yung customize dahil dun po naman natin siya ma-view. Okay, I just need to restart ang ating customized view. So I am giving you enough time to add the link. So ang gagawin po natin ha, highlight the word. After highlighting the word, input the link. Okay, now, I am giving you enough time to do it. And after that, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-pop up yung ating link. So, I am giving you one minute to copy this uh, sentence. Oops, sorry. I 
Again, kukopyin nyo po itong sentence na ito, ha? Ayan. So, ilalagay nyo po siya doon sa ating link. Okay? So, sir, paano siya gagawin? Uulitin ko, ha? Highlight ninyo yung mismong letrang U, click ninyo yung salitang link, at pipiliin nyo yung pop-up message. Sa pop-up message, itatype ninyo yung sentence na magpapakita sa kanya. Okay? E-enlarge ko na po, ha? Copy it. One minute starts now. In case you are done, Nice one. Kung sakaling hindi pa po, tandaan, ang inyong pipiliin ay pop-up message. Ibig sabihin nun yan ang magpapakitang mensahe kapag pinindot ang salitang letrang U. So ang pinagagawa ko sa inyo, kopyahin ang pangusap na ito. And once you have that, hit the word create. Okay? 30 seconds remaining. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Now, after everything was set, click the word create. Now, para makita po ninyo yun, ikiklik ninyo yung salitang customize. Okay? Isisave ko muna yung work ko para po mairan ko po siya. I just name it first as R1, okay? Now, if you hit the word customize, pwede kayong mamili kasi dito kung anong klase ng view. Pwede in your desktop screen ang kanyang viewing. Pwede pong in... Samsung Galaxy, ito po yung mga Android devices. Ayan. Pwede nyo po siyang i-rotate para makita nyo po clearly. Sir, ano yung ginawa natin kanina? Ang ginawa natin ay link. Ibig sabihin nun, pag pinindot yung salita na letrang U, tignan nyo po mangyayari ha, may lalabas siyang pop-up. So malalaman ninyo na tama ang inyong ginawa kung pag pinindot natin yung salitang yon may lalawas siya na kahulugan. Sir, saan ginagamit to? Di ba po, meron tayong mga vocabulary skills o meron tayong mga talasalitaan. Ngayon, pwede natin gamitin yung word na link na ito o pop-up message para kung sakaling gagamitin ng ating mga mag-aaral yung content na ito, meron siyang element of surprise na pag tinindot, ah, may lumalabas na kahulugan. So, Nagagamit natin siya as an instant dictionary, as an instant uh, explanation for a certain topic. Okay? So I hope na intindihan po natin kung ano ang gamit po ng link ha. So again, para makita po yun, just go to customize and you can select whatever emulator or device. Sir, paano yun? Wala po dyan yung OPPO. OPPO po ang device ko. Gaya ng aking nabanggit kanina, any devices will run from it. So kung ang OPPO ay Android platform, pwede nyo pong magamit yung Samsung Galaxy. Anyway, it will run still the same dun po sa ating mga device. So kung ang ginagamit mo naman kunyari ay iPad, ayan, pwede nyo rin pong makita yun doon. So just simply click it at pareho po ang kanya magiging function. So I hope nakuha po natin kung paano ginagamit ang unang function which is link. Okay, now let's hit the word edit. Yon ang una nating pagsasanay. That is our first activity. How to utilize a link. Now let's proceed. Observe the sentence. Ang tinayot ko, ang letrang U ay isang patinig. I'll press enter. And look, ilalagay ko kasunod. Halimbawa. So when I put halimbawa, 
Ang susunod kong nilagay ay unan. Kama. Unggoy. Kama. Upo. Kama. Bo. At ubas. So as you could see, I have here some words na inilagay para sa letrang U. Okay? Ito yung mga halimbawa ng salita na nagsisimula sa titik na iyon. So sabi ko dito, ang letrang U ay isang patinig. Pakikita sa ipaba ang mga salitang nagsisimula sa letrang U. Okay? So I hope everything is clear. Dinugtungan ko ng konsepto ang ating nilagay kaninang pangusap. Ngayon, lalagyan ulit natin siya ng element of surprise para hindi uh, hindi siya makaka-interrupt o hindi siya magkakaroon ng boring na pagsasanay pag, pag ito ay tinuro o ginamit ng ating mga mag-aaral. So, in your proficiency OER, there are images in it, okay? So sa inyong proficiency OER, ibinigay po yung link na pwede kayong makapag-download ng mga salita para dito sa unan, unggoy, etc. Okay? So, sir, anong gagawin natin? Same thing. Iha-highlight ko ang salitang unan, ipindutin ko ang link. Kung kanina, pop-up message na text ang aking ginagawa, ngayon, image ang aking gagawin. Ibig sabihin nun, Kapag pinindot ng bata yung salitang yon, may lalabas na larawan o picture. So I'll choose add image at hahanapin ko ngayon sa aking in uh, sorry, ang aking dinownload kanina doon sa mga picture. So ito ay unan. When it is there, hit the word create. Okay? So kinakailangan i-highlight niyo po yon. I-click lang ang salitang link. Piliin ang pop-up message, piliin ang image, at hanapin ang larawan na gusto nating magpakita. So, tinayip ko ulit, unan, once it is there, i-click lang ang salitang create. At mailalagay po yung image na yun doon. Okay? So, next, kunyari unggoy, highlight it again, click link, choose image, piliin lang ang add image. At kumanap ng unggoy. Okay? So, ilagay lang yon. Pag ito ay nailagay na, click the word create and it will be reflected. Sir, ano magiging itsura niyan? Napansin niyo yung unan hindi naging blue? Sir, bakit hindi naging blue? Kasi hindi successful yung aking pag-a-attach. So, malalaman ninyo na tama ang inyong ginagawa kapag naging blue. Okay, so pinakita ko sa inyo ngayon kung paano siya magkakaroon ng attachment at kung hindi successful ang attachment. Okay? So tandaan, kinakailangan maging color blue yung salita para malagyan ito ng link. Next, I'll highlight po po. Click link. Hahanapin ko yung pop-up message. Image. Hahanapin ko yung picture. Pindutin lang ang salitang create at magre-reflect po yun. Okay? Tignan maigi ha. Gaya ng inyong nakikita, kanina inilagay ko sa unan pero hindi ko siya ginawa correctly. Kaya black siya. So yun ang ibig kong sabihin na kapag mali yung pagkakagawa ng proseso, hindi siya malalagyan ng link. Pero kung tama ang inyong nagawa, malalagyan po yun ng blue. Now, since you have it already na naka-download na po sa inyo yung mga larawan, Sir, anong magiging itsura niya? Then, we go to customize. In the customize view, makikita natin ngayon na kung kanina, pag pinindot natin yung word na letrang U, explanation ang lumalabas. Ngayon naman, kapag pinindot natin yung mga salita, picture ang lalabas. So, look ko, kung kanina letrang U, sentence, 
Ngayon naman, pag itong pinidot natin, picture ang lumalabas sa kanya. Okay? So I hope it is clear at naintindihan kung ano ang gamit ng ating uh, link para sa ating mga images. So, I am giving you one minute to create your own links sa pamamagitan po ng ating tools na ito. Okay? One minute starts now. For the sake of this hands-on activity, you may follow the processes para magkaroon po kayo ng idea. Ang ating pong exercise 1 ay paggamit ng link para sa text message. Ang pangalawa naman po na ating ginamit ay link para magpakita ng images. Bakit kinakailangan nating lagyan ng link? Kung dati ang ating mga kagamitan ay PDF flat format materials na kahit anong gawin pindot ng mga bata, wala talaga tayong makikita. It's just a plain document. Pero pag ginamitan natin ito sa e-book na ginagawa natin, it can be an interactive material that could give an element of surprise to our learners. It could be pictures of planets. Okay? It could be any pictures na related dun sa ating inilagay na content. But we need to make sure that when we utilize pictures, it is under our uh, creative commons side o ito ay uh, gamit natin mismo na picture. Kung hindi natin pag-aari ang larawan, kinakailangan natin siyang isight sa ating references para hindi tayo magkaroon ng copyright issues. I hope clear po na aking ipinaliwanag ang tamang pamamaraan sa paggamit ng larawan. Remember, Kinakailangan natin irespeto ang copyright, kaya kung hindi natin larawan yon, please make sure to cite it as our reference. 10 seconds remaining and then we proceed to the next part of our activity. Tandaan, ang lahat ng mga links na ito ay makikita doon sa ating tinyurl.com slash proficiency OER. Okay, ngayon, lumipat tayo sa susunod na bahagi. Kung kanina, ating inilagay ay ang mga ganitong klase ng pangungusap na naglalagay tayo ng link para sa text at link para sa picture, ito rin ay kayang maglagay ng link bilang isang attachment. Okay, now, focus first kung ano ang aking gagawin. Dito, inilagay ko ang i-click ang link sa ibaba para ma-download ang activity sheet o pagsasanay number one. And then after that, sa baba, inilagay ko sa letrang U. For the sake of this activity, I want you to attach any Word document related to it, okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, kahit na anong Word document, pwede nyo po munang ilagay for the sake of this activity. Sir, ano yung ibig sabihin for the sake of this activity? Kokopihin lang ninyo itong sentence kong ito para ma-visualize ninyo kung anong ibig sabihin ng linking o attachment ng isang activity. Okay? So, nilagay ko dito. I-click ang link sa iba pa para ma-download ang activity sheet o pagsasanay number one. We are used in sending attachments sa ating email. Di ba naglalagay tayo ng mga attachment doon para makuha ng ating uh, colleagues, ng ating, ng ating mga uh, estudyante. Dito po, kahit wala pong internet, pwede po siyang mag-attach ng materials basta po ito ay ma-save o mailagay sa ating document. So, paano siya gagawin? Kung kanina, link ang ating ginawa through a text, at through an image, ngayon naman, iha-highlight ko yung word, pipiliin ko yung link, which is located dun pa rin sa ating right side ng screen. Okay? So again, highlight the word, click the word link, and then this time, kung kanina ay 
pop-up message, pipiliin ko ngayon ang salitang attachment. Bakit attachment? Ibig sabihin nun, kinakailangan ko mag-attach ng material na susulpot pag pinindot yun. So you need to browse any Word document muna sa inyong file. So ako, kunwari, uh, maglalagay lang ako any document. So again, hanap lang kayo ng any Word file dyan, ha? Okay. Once you have a file, click it, and once it is attached, hit the word create. Kung mapapansin po ninyo, naging color blue din siya, kagaya ng mga nilagay nating links sa itaas. Okay? Sir, paano ko siya mabivisualize? So you need to click customize again, and look what will happen. Okay, tignan maiti ha. So naglo-load ang aking emulator. Now, this will happen. Pag kinilig ninyo yung word na letrang U, sentence ang lumalabas. Yung mga kaninang pictures, yun din ang lalabas. Pero this time, dahil attachment links, pag ito ang kinilig natin, tingnan nyo po ah, may magpa-pop up na folder at sasabihin niyang you can download the material. So, ibig sabihin nun, kahit wala pong internet, pwede po siyang mag-download ng mga materials attached directly to it dahil ito ay ating inilagay sa ating ebook content. Okay? Now, I am giving you one minute to do it. So, how to do it again? Highlight the word. So, ha-highlight ninyo ha. After highlighting the word, click link. And then, kung kanina pop-up message ang ating pinili, ngayon po attachment ang ating gagawin. Click browse, browse po yung kanina nandito, and locate the file that you want to add. You can add any file that you want, okay? Now, pwede may magtatanong, Sir, gaano kalaki yung files na pwede nating ilagay? Ang sagot ko doon, please make sure to compress it dahil pag mas malaki ang file, syempre, yung downloading time na kahit offline will take time. Kaya kinakailangan, direct and precise yung ating lang ilalagay. Hindi naman kinakailangan masyado siyang worthy dahil ito ay isang supplementary tool lamang sa ating mga mag-aaral. So I hope it's clear. You could compress that file muna bago po ilagay. So again, choose link and make it as an attachment. So I hope it's clear. And then after that, click the word create. Since I have already created it, ganito po ang kanyang kalalabasan. Again, I am giving you one minute to do that. One minute starts now. You do the hands-on. Thank you. I hope nakakasunod po kayo sa ating webinar session. In case na nagkaroon po kayo ng difficulty, you could always go back to our webinar videos Ito po ay recorded at makakatulong po ito para mabalikan ninyo ang mga bahagi kung saan kayo ay nagkaroon ng difficulty. As you could see, ginawa natin ang exercise number one sa pamamagitan ng link ng text. Ginawa natin ang exercise number two na ang link naman natin ay mga pictures. At ang exercise number three, ang link ng mga you have 30 seconds remaining before we proceed to the next part of our activity. Ngayon po, lumipat tayo sa susunod na bahagi. May mga pagkakataon na tayo ay nagbibigay ng mga additional references sa ating mga mag-aaral. Take note, this time, we need to have it online. Sir, bakit online? Gaya ng aking nabanggit, may mga pagkakataon na nagbibigay kasi tayo ng references na online. So kung online ng ating reference, link din po ang ating gagamitin. So, for example, ilalagay ko po ah, sanggunian. Again, for the sake of this activity, ang ating pong ginagawa ay sample format. Hindi po yung actual layout. Sample format para may idea po kayo kung papaayin nyo po siya i-mix and match. Okay? So, ang aking tinipe dito, sanggunian. And then, 
For example, ang aking unang sanggunian ay isang website. Okay? Alimbawa, yung site na ito ay nasa Google. So kung naglagay tayo ng isang sanggunian, usually tinatype natin doon yung HTTP and so on, pwede nating i-highlight yan at i-click ang link. At pwede natin itong i-direct sa isang website. So, igag ang gagawin lang natin, simply need to type the URL, kunyari, google.com. Sample lang to, I know you know, I know you have an idea what is a URL all about. So for the sake of this activity, ginagawa ko lang po ito para alam ninyo na kapag ikinilik itong word na ito, mapupunta siya dito sa ating URL link. So after doing that, hit the word create. At kung mapapansin ninyo, naging color blue ulit siya. Now, to view it, hit the word customize. At kung kanina, tinuro ko yung linking ng isang text na nagpa-pop up, sinundan natin ng isang image, sinundan natin ng isang attachment, now look at this. Ito ay link papunta sa isang website. So, pag pinindot niya ng bata, mag-open siya ng external link. Okay? So, I hope it is clear na kung paano siya gamitin, ha? So, kung ano ang itinipe natin na URL doon, yun ang magpa-pop up na link. But again, disclaimer, since you are utilizing a URL link, it means it will proceed online. Okay? So, I hope clear po to. I am giving you 30 seconds for this activity. You could link a hyperlink material to a website. I'll go back to my editing tool. Sir, paano niyo siya ginawa? Again, hinighlight ko yung word. Nasa link pa rin tayo. And through that, instead of choosing pop-up message and choosing attachment, ang pinili ko ngayon ay to a website. Choose the website and indicate the URL. After that, hit the word create. Okay? Now, 30 seconds, begin. Type any website that you like na dun po maglulog ang inyong material. Okay? Thank you. I hope you are doing the hands-on activity and seeing the the idea kung paano natin ginagamit yung mga links. Okay? 10 seconds remaining. Okay. Now, we are done with our first activity. This one is utilizing the link. So, para magkaroon tayo ng distinction, usually sa ating material, nilalagyan natin siya ng mga parts. So, yung parts na ito pwede siyang Roman numeral number one, introduction. Okay? Tapos, okay, naglalagay tayo ng chapter one. So, dito natin siya inilalagay sa gilid. For the sake of this activity, lalagyan ko siya ng title na introduction to links. Kasi link yung activity na ginawa natin dito. Okay? So again, para mapangalanan ang chapter, kinakailangan i-type ninyo yun this, dito mismo sa ating untitled chapter kanina. Since it is related to these links, for the sake of this activity, ito po ang aking inilagay. To visualize that, yan po yung ginagawa natin sa table of contents o talaan ng nilalaman. Okay? We are done with the first four activities. Unang apat na activity sa paglalagay ng link bilang text, link bilang image, link bilang isang attachment, at link bilang isang website. Now, let's proceed. Let's click new chapter. And when you click that, choose reflowable. Lalabas ang title chapter. I-type nyo ngayon dyan, Roman numeral number 2, Introduction to Images. Okay. 
So ngayon naman, lilipat tayo sa susunod na bahagi. Images tayo ngayon. Sa ating right side ng screen, makikita ang image. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ginagamit ang mga image na ito. Okay? So we are familiar with the use of different pictures. Siyempre, pag tayo ay gumagawa ng mga materials, mahilig tayo maglagay ng icon. Pwede ang icon natin ay JPEG format, PNG format, at kung gusto natin ng animated, pwede rin po natin gawin yun, like the GIF format. So for the sake of this activity, I want you to follow me, and I hope you have downloaded the icon number one in the proficiency OER installer. Yung icon number one ang picture na ating gagamitin. Let's begin. First, click the word image, which is located at the right side of your screen. Click image. Tapos ito po yung pagpapapap na kahon. Hit the word add image and locate yung ating file na ang pangalan ay icon number one. Okay? Type ko. Icon one. Click that. Ang icon number one ay isang GIF kaya gumagalaw po to. Now, gusto kong ang icon na ito ay maging maliit lang. Kaya naman, para maging maliit lang siya at situated sa isang side, ang gagawin ko, tandaan ang mga magic number, ang width ay 85, at ang height ay 70. Para po, mag-situate siya ng maliit sa ating uh, icon field. After that, ang text wrap, gagawin kong push to the left. Bakit push to the left? Para nandun siya sa left side ng ating screen. So, tandaan, ang ginawa ko, nilagay ko yung icon number one. I'll attach it. Ang width ko ay 85. Ang height ko ay 70. At ang text wrap, ginawa kong push left. Once everything is set, hit the word create and look what will happen. Mapupunta po siya doon sa gilid. At meron na po tayong icon. Okay? So, ganun po ang paglalagay ng isang animated material o isang animated icon sa ating kutubi. So, kapag nilagyan natin siya ng mga salita kagaya ng pagsasanay, number two. Pag hinighlight nyo po yan, so at the same time, katabi po siya ng ating icon. So you could even resize it if you want, yung ating text. So highlight it, change the size para maging malaki. Okay? So gaya ng inyong nakikita, we have now an icon. Parang sa isang libro, meron siyang mga icon. So if you can create your GIF material, your personal GIF material, you could have that. Okay? Sir, ano ulit yung magic number? Bakit ganon? Again, ito po ang ating magic number. First, attach the icon number one. After attaching it, the width should be 85, the height should be 70, and the text wrap should be pushed to the left. I am giving you one minute to do it. Okay? One minute starts now. Ilagay ang ating animated icon sa ating Kutubi author. Thank you. Tandaan, nilalagay natin ang width bilang 85, ang height ay 70, Ang text wrap ay ginawa nating push left at wala tayong gagawin sa ibang mga items. Yun lamang po ang ating gagawin. I hope na download po ninyo ang icon number one sa ating proficiency OER installer para po para para po tayo ng ginamit na icon. Last 30 seconds. Hello Sir Mark. Yes po. Yeah, you might you might want to have a drink. <laughs> Inum ng konte, rest for a while. Yes, sir. Okay, so siguro uh, a minute uh, para po maka inum din po ang ating pong speaker ng konte. So while they are doing the activity, the hands on.
Thank you, sir. Okay. Again, so uh, as we wait, I will be reading some of the uh, shout outs or comments sa ating pong uh, live webinar, sa ating pong FB live at saka sa YouTube. So we can, uh, we, uh, we are being watched live sa ating pong uh, FB page at saka sa YouTube. So, so from Charlie Robinesha, Barcelona, nakaka-follow po ako. Hehehe, <laughs> ang saya. Ayan, so uh, thank you dahil nakakasunod. At yung iba po pala na natapos, then you can also have this time para po makainom. Actually, I have here with me my glass of water as well. Ayan, so thank you, Sir Charlie. I, I think, uh, ayan. Do we have more comments? Ayan, Sir, paano po mag-download po sa yung para sa icon? Charlie, you can uh, download po. I think it has uh, nasa ating pong uh, link. Yan po, dito po sa baba. Nakikita po natin sa screen. Yan, so sa, pwede po natin makita po yung pong uh, mga icons na yan. Alright. So I think we need, uh, pwede natin ibalik na kay Sir Mark. Sir Mark, go. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, Thank you. kanina napakita ko sa inyo kung paano inilalagay natin yung mga icons. Kasi importante yung icons like sa ating mga exercises para mas mapaganda ang ating material. Now, to visualize kung anong itsura ng icon na ito, click nyo lang po yung customize. Yan. Para po maturuan ko rin kayo kung paano gamitin yung uh, table of contents. Okay? So, once na nag-load ang inyong uh, emulator, makikita nyo po na na-apply doon yung ating mga changes. So, pwede nyo pong i-rotate rotate yung mga yung device ninyo. Ito po, di ba, introduction to links. Meron kayong makikita dito yung tatlong linya. Pindutin nyo lang yan at mapupunta kayo doon sa table of contents. Okay? Ayan. So, nakita po ninyo yung icon natin gumagalaw siya. Ang suggestion ko po, Meron po tayo mga application sa cellphone na pwede kayong mag-create ng sarili ninyong GIF o cartoon uh, image na pwede po ninyong magamit bilang icon sa inyong uh, Kotobi author. O di ba? Mas sasabi ng mga estudyante niyo, ay ang galing ang fit ni ma'am naging cartoon. O di ba? You could even rotate your device at hindi po sila mababago. Tandaan na ang ating magic number. Dahil pag iniba nyo po yung itsura, yung number na yun, mag-iiba yung itsura ng ating icon. Okay? So now, let's hit again, edit. I-demonstrate ko ha. Sir, paano kapag hindi namin siya nalagay na push left? Kunyari, nalagay ko nan. Tignan nyo yung mangyayari sa image. Ano nangyari sa kanya? Napunta sa gitna. Okay, so remember na kinakailangan yung text wrap mismo ang ating aayusin kung saan siya nakapwesto. Pag push left, nasa left side yan. Pag push right, nasa right side naman yon. Sir, paano siya mapupunta ng center? Center kapag none. Okay, I hope clear you na since lahat ng libro natin o lahat ng exercises, yung icon ay nasa left, ilagay natin push left. Okay? So I hope that is clear now. Okay? And then you put type there pag sanay to, and then on to the right side, type lang po. Now, let's proceed to the next part of our activity. I'll click enter. Sir, gusto ko pong maglagay ng uh, image or ng icon, pero this time, ang gusto ko, hindi gumagalaw. Tandaan na, pag gumagalaw, GIF ang content. Ngayon, naglagay po ako ng isang sample ng cartoonized version ko. Ako po yun in cartoon. So, yun po ang icon number two. So, pwede po ninyong gawin ay ito. Click image. Hanapin lamang yung image na yun na icon number two. Kung saan ito po ay na-download na ninyo. So, I hope na-download po ninyo yun na. Icon. Ayan. So sa icon number 2, tanda na, practice lang ito, ang width ay 85, ang height ay 70, ang text wrap natin ay push left, hit the word create. 
And after that, malalagay po yung icon ninyo. Yun po yung sinasabi ko na pwede tayo maglagay ng sarili nating cartoonized icon. So pag naging cartoon ng itsura ko, pwede pong ganyan na magiging itsura niya. Sir, saan po makikita yung icon na yan? Ang suggestion ko po, hanapin ninyo sa Bitmoji. Okay? Ang Bitmoji po, ay ang application kung saan kayo makakakreate ng sarili ninyong emoji icon. Okay? So, ayan. Isa sa idea na pwede ninyong makuha at magamit, pwede ninyong puntahan ang application na Bitmoji para po yung inyong sarili ay magkaroon ng sarili ninyong emoji cartoon. So, in our exercise number two, you have learned how to put an image na animated gamitan ng GIF at ang pangalawa ay yung sarili ninyong icon. Paano kayo makakagawa ng icon? You could visit Bitmoji either in Android or in App Store. Tapos, picturean niyo lang yung sarili niyo. Pwede kayong makakreate ng sarili ninyong emoji at pwede niyo magamit bilang inyong icon. Okay? So I hope nakatulong po ang idea ng ito kung paano kayo makakalikha ng sarili ninyong icon for your learners. Okay? Maraming salamat. And with that, that is our uh, second part of our activity. Sa paggamit ng image, pwede tayong maglagay ng animated picture at pwede rin ang flat. Pag sinabi nating flat, hindi siya gumagalaw. Okay? Now, there are instances that we want to put a comic strip or an illustration table or even a gallery format. Sa so, paggamit ng kotobi, pwede natin siyang gawin. So, look at this. I'll press enter. Ang gagawin ko po, kinakailangan nakalagay siya sa center. So, tingnan nyo po ah. Kinakailangan nakasenter tayo ngayon. So, press center para po gumit na ang ating cursor. This time, I'll be placing a gallery. Sir, so, ano yung ibig sabihin ng gallery? Explain ko po mabuti. Di ba meron tayong libro na nakalagay table number 1, table number 2, table number 3, tapos ang haba-haba niya. Dito po, hindi natin pinahaba ang isang spot, pero nandun lang siya sa isa, isang area na magiging interactive habang pinipindot. So to do that, click gallery, and I hope na download na po ninyo yung mga pictures na kinakailangan natin gamitin. Yun ay nasa conversation 1 hanggang conversation 5. So, click Images, okay, and then locate those files. Again, ang mga pictures na yun ay nakalagay po sa ating proficiency OER. So, ang aking ilalagay na picture ay yung conversation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Ito ay isang comic strip. Once you have selected the pictures, hit the word open. Kung inyong mapapansin, ang ating mga pictures na nailagay, starting from conversations 1 to 5, may mga arrow dito na violet. Ibig sabihin niya, kailangan i-arrange ninyo in correct order. So, di ba ang conversation 1, dapat siya ang unang, unang part ng ating comic strip, nasa tuktok. Press niyo lang yung up. 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 Hanggang sa maging unang-una siya. Up. Up. Ayan. So, ang arrangement ay 1. Siyempre, ang kasunod dapat 2. So, up mo lang din to. Ayan. Ang susunod sa 2 ay 3. Hanapin ang 3. Up, up lang to. Up. Up. Ayan. So, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4. Okay. So, ito, bababa mo lang. Down. Ayan. Once everything is done, once you selected the image, click the word create. At makikita po ninyo doon sa inyong uh, material, yung ginawa po ninyong gallery. Okay? So, sir, paano ulit yun? Tandaan, ang ginawa natin, kinilik natin yung gallery, and then you selected the images. Now, ang susunod ninyong gagawin, kinakailangan i-arrange nyo siya according to the correct sequence. Okay? I hope nagawa po ninyo yun. Pag nalagay nyo na yung correct sequence na ilalagay natin na... na ng mga pictures, susunod yung gagawin ay i-click ang settings. At tandaan ang mga magic numbers ng ating settings. Gallery width, change it to 800. So tandaan yung mga magic number ha, 
ang gallery height palitan ng 500. I hope it's clear. Yan lang ang dalawang papalitan natin. Gallery width and height. Pero bago ang lahat, meron din tayo ritong scale. Ang scale natin ay kinakailangan maging contain. So meron tayong tatlong pinalitan. Gallery width na 800, gallery height na 500, at yung scale ay contain. So I'm giving you one minute to do that. Ilagay ang mga pictures ng conversations 1 to 5. I-arrange. Pagkatapos i-arrange, i-click ang settings at gawin ang mga sumusunod. May 800 sa width, may 500 sa height, at ang scale ay contain. Pagkatapos nun, hintayin ang aking susunod na panuto. Hands on activity for one minute, begin. Tandaan ha, kinakailangan na download nyo po yung mga, mga ka kailangan nating kagamitan doon sa proficiency OER dahil nandun po yung ating mga materials for the hands-on. So, pag na-download na po yun, ang ating activity ngayon ay gallery type. So pakilagay lang po yung conversations 1 to 5 na aking ipinakita kanina. So yung mga images, usually kapag in-upload kasi natin siya, hindi siya naka-arrange. So ayusin muna natin siya according to the number. Kaya ito po ang aking suggestion pag kayo ay naglalagay ng mga tables, lagyan nyo siya ng number para hindi po kayo malilito kung sakaling i-arrange nyo po siya. Okay? Pag nalagay na to, click lang ang settings and then hit the editing for gallery width which is 800, gallery height na 500, and the scale which is contained. You have 30 seconds remaining for the activity. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, if everything is done, simply hit the word create. Ako kasi edit po ang nakalaga at mapapansin niyo na jan na yung ating ah comic strip. Okay? Eto yung sila sabi ko na pwede ang gallery gamitin bilang comic strip o bilang table. Now, meron tong arrow. Kahit anong pindot nyo, hindi yan lilipat. Bakit? Eh di ba nasa editing field tayo? So to visualize ko ang anong itsura nito, you go to the customize view. Click customize para makita kung ano ang kanyang silbi. Kung ano ang kanyang magiging itsura. Now, I'll, I'll change my device to something which is quite big para mag-visualize mo natin. Kunyari, iPad mini. Rotate ko lang siya. Once it loads, tignan niyo po ang kanyang mang, ang mga mangyayari sa kanya. So, again, ito po ang ating table of contents. Click that and then you proceed to introduction to images. Lilipat po siya doon, 'di ba? Ito po kanina yung una nating activity sa image. Ayun yung animated and then yung flat na picture lang na icon na hindi gumagalaw. Ito po yung gallery. Minsan, ang gallery natin ay pwedeng table number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Now, pwede mong i-click yan, no? At nilipat siya sa susunod na bahagi. At nagiging interactive ngayon ang ating libro. So, kung dati, uh, ang haba-haba ng illustration 1, illustration 2, iba-iba siyang bahagi. Ngayon, nasa iisang tipak siya. So, pag pinindot siya ng learners natin, or even ng teachers, nandun lang siya sa iisang side. At gumagalaw. Okay? So I hope nakita po ninyo yung effectivity at gamit ng gallery. So I'm giving you again another uh, one minute for you to visualize how to utilize the gallery. Again, ito po ang ating magic number. May iba po kasi na nagtatanong, Sir, ano ulit yung numbers? Ayan po. Makikita ninyo sa inyong screen ang 800 for the width, 500 for the height, and make sure it is contained. In case you're having difficulty In accessing our uh, FB webinar, you could always go back and review the material. Thank you. Again, binibigyan ko kayo ng isa pang huling isang minuto para po maiadjust ang necessary uh, things sa inyong settings bago tayo lumipat sa susunod na bahagi ng pagsasanay. 
I hope you are enjoying and seeing the beauty how to utilize this interactive ebook material na magagamitin nyo sa paglikha ng uh, mas epektibong kagamit ng panturo. Lalo pag hiningan kayo ng tulong ng inyong mga EPS, kung paano mag-create ng interactive materials na makakatulong sa inyong mga learners. But make sure that you utilize proper citation like the copyright and then uh, ang Bukod doon, kinakailangan i-QA po ang ating mga kagamitan bago ito ibigay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Make sure that your resources are quality assured first. Thank you. Remember, kayo po ang nagkiklik ng, ng images. So, Paano natin siya ilalagay ng sabay-sabay? So again, sa images, ang gagawin nyo lamang po ay i-click yun and then you could attach that. Okay? Sabay-sabay po yung ating mga pictures na mailalagay. Okay, tapos na ang ating one minute. I hope nakuha po natin kung paano gamitin ang ating mga images regards to an animated one to a flat image or if it is a comic style or a gallery format. Now, we proceed to the next part of our activity. Let's go back to the chapter. Look at this, right side. Kanina gumawa tayo introduction to links, introduction to images. Kaya naman, click new chapter. Again, choose the flowable layout. At ang gagawin natin naman sa pangatlo ay Introduction to Videos. Manumeral number 3, Introduction to Videos. Okay. Ang ating e-book ay pwedeng mag-attach tayo ng ating instructional video. Kung tayo ay gumagamit ng YouTube, Pwede po yun, ililink natin kung tayo ay mayroong uh, self-created instructional material gaya ng PowerPoint na kinonvert natin to a video, pwede din po yun. So to visualize how to do it, please make sure that your cursor is always at the center. Okay? Tandaan na, nasa center pag video, nasa center pag gallery. Ngayon na nasa gitna na ang ating cursor, I'll click now the word video. Ang pagkakaiba, pag video URL, ibig sabihin nun, online yan. Ang ituturo ko muna ngayon ay offline, okay? Paano siya pag offline? You need to attach the video by adding that. So for the sake of this activity, I'll be placing a video file project na ginawa ako uh, para meron kayong idea na pwede pala ang PowerPoint na mailagay sa ating content, okay? Ipo, oh. naglagay ako ng sample tree. Now, so on, once you have that video file format na na-attach, nothing to change sa ibaba, basta i-attach nyo lang po yung video and hit the word create. At lalabas po doon yung video content or material. To visualize it how it works, hit the word customize. At maglo-load po ang ating emulator. Once kumpleto po ang kanyang paglo-load at na-apply ang mga changes, makikita po natin doon yung table of contents. So paano kiniklik yung table of contents? Ito po yung tatlong linya. Pakipindot lang po yun and then you go to introduction to videos. Click that. Ito po yung video natin. So pag pinindot yan, pwede pong mag-play yung material. Ngayon na nasagutan mo na ang mga pagsasanay, dumako tayo sa pagbubuod ng aralin. Tandaan, kapag ating tinukoy ang lokasyong insular, ang lokasyong insular ang tumutukoy sa lokasyon ng bansa. Ayon sa mga, as you could see in our material, it's just created using a PowerPoint. Yung PowerPoint kininvert into a video format at yung video na yun ay inilagay natin sa Kotobi author na kahit hindi nakikita si teacher, pwedeng pakinggan, pwedeng panoorin, at maiintindihan pa rin ng bata yung lesson dahil pwede niyang balik-balikan yung inyong instructional video. 
pwede niyang i-forward na hindi nagkakaroon ng problema dahil ito ay embed sa ating materia. Ay marami kang natutuhan sa ating aralin. So, based on this one, it is a part of the proficiency OER, so I highly suggest you join us on Monday because from here, you will be taught on how to create the video formatted lessons na pwede nating ilagay sa Kotobi Author. Now, let's go back to our activity. Gaya ng inyong nakita, tayo ay nag-attach ng ating video content. So, paano natin ginawa? You hit the video. After clicking video, you look for a content or a video file in your material. Take note, it should be a MP4 format. Kinakailangan ay MP4 dahil MP4 lang ang tinatanggap ng Kotobi author. Nothing to be changed below and hit the word edit. I'll give you one minute to select a video in your computer, an instructional video na gusto ninyong magamit as a sample ng ating material. One minute starts now. Thank you. Again, what we are using is the attachment of a video. I'm sure marami ang magtatanong, Sir, gaano kalaki ang file na pwedeng ilagay? Make sure that the file is compressed para hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema in terms of saving. Dahil mas malaki ang file, it will take time for us to load or save the file. So, importante na ito ay compressed o ito ay maliit. Okay? Thank you. Again, in case you are having difficulty in terms of having access in our webinar session, this is recorded and you can always go back and review the webinar sessions. Thank you. Sa mga nagtatanong kung kinakailangan ba ng internet connection kapag gumamit ng Kotobi, ang sagot po doon, kahit wala po kayong internet connection, pwede yan tumakbo ng offline. Last 10 seconds. Okay, now that we are done, we proceed to the next part of our activity. Kung kanina, itinuro ko kung paano maglagay ng video gamit ang attachment, pwede din naman yung link. So, I'll press enter. Nasa gitna pa rin siya. If I click video, Meron tayong nilalagay dito na video URL. Sir, ano ibig sabihin nun? Pag yan ang pinili natin, link yan papunta sa YouTube. So for example, nilagay ko dito ay www.facebook, uh, sorry, www.youtube.com slash c slash education technology unit. Ibig sabihin nun, mapupunta siya doon sa link ng YouTube na and tech. Dahil ito ang aking inilagay. So you could always copy a URL, a video URL, yun nga lang, tatakbo siya ng online. If you hit the word create, yan po ang makikita. And if you want to see it or visualize, hit again the word customize. So gaya ng inyong nakikita, click the table of contents, Hit Introduction to Videos. Makikita po natin na yung una, yan ang video na attached. Okay? Yung susunod na video naman, ito yung link. And as you could see, Sir, bakit hindi tumatakbo yung link ninyo ng tama? Because I just invented a URL link. Kinakailangan eksaktong URL link mula sa YouTube ang inyong ilalagay. So you just simply need to copy-paste it. So how to do that? So pinakita ko sa inyo yung correct process at wrong process sa pag wrong process, ikaw nagta-type. So may malaking possibility na mali ang inyong na-encode. So maglo-load lang yan ang maglo-load. So I highly suggest that you copy-paste a URL. So how to do that? You go to YouTube and then 
from YouTube, meron kang gustong specific skill or topic na gustong ituro sa kanila, kinakailangan, from there, kunyari ito, yung, kukopihin nyo lang yung URL, ayan ang kinapi ko. Ibig sabihin nun, pag kinapi ko tong URL na ito, yan ang kinakailangan kong i-link sa aking, sa aking kutubi. I'll go back now to kutubi. Ipipaste nyo yun doon. So, sa pamamagitan nun, hindi kayo nagtatype ng incorrect URL. So, copy-paste lang siya. Nothing to change below. Hit the word edit. Now, to visualize it, kanina, di ba, hindi siya nag-work kasi ang ginawa ko, mano-mano ko siyang tinype. Mas maganda yung kinakopy-paste natin siya. Kasi, maiiwasan natin yung mistake doon. Now, I'll play the second video. O di ba nag-loop siya at gumagalaw? Province. Ah, Mountain Province. Okay. So, okay. So I hope clear po kung paano natin ginagamit ang ating uh, video tool bilang isang attach file at isang link file. Sir, paano yun? Nag-download ako ng video tapos hindi ko pag-aari yung video. Pwede po ba yun? Tandaan. Pag issues ng copyright, hindi natin pwedeng i-download yon. Ito ang suggestion lagi. Kapag gumagamit tayo ng video na hindi natin pag-aari, kinakailangan ito ay link. Bakit link? Para ang copyright niya ay nandun pa rin sa tao, hindi natin inaangkin. Pero kapag ito ay ating in-embed o inilagay mismo natin itself, dinownload natin, pagkakaroon tayo ng copyright issues doon, pwede tayong mademanda. Dahil inako natin, Sinabi natin na tayo na ang nagmamayari nun dahil in-embed natin siya sa ating kutubi material. Kaya ang safest way to do, use a link instead. Kasi pag dinamit niyo yung link, ang property pa rin nun ay nandoon sa taong gumawa. Nilalagay mo lang ang link at properly cited yon Hindi ka gaya sa downloaded, parang ginawa natin, ninakaw natin yung kanilang component o material. So I highly suggest na kapag ownership ninyo o kayo may ari ng video, Attach it. Pero kung hindi kayo ang may-ari, have it as a link. So I hope na-explain ko po ng maayos ang ating uh, activity regarding the videos. I am giving you last 30 seconds to uh, customize whatever you need to customize in the video URL link or in the attached video file before we proceed to the next part of our activity. Maraming salamat. So kung dati, pag tayo ay nagturo, hiwa-hiwalay. May PowerPoint, may video, may nagtuturo, may nagsusulat, may pagbasa. Meron tayong handout. Ang ginawa natin sa ating e-book material sa Kotobi Author, nilagay natin siya sa iisang lalagyan. At pwede siyang magamit in terms of online or offline access at nagagamit basta ang ating mga mag-aaral ay meron pong device dahil kapag walang device, hindi po nila mapapatakbo to. And again, it can run even offline. Thank you. Thirty seconds remaining before we proceed to the next part of our activity. In case you have questions, our moderators, our OER national core leaders are ready to help and assist you. We received a question coming from John Victor de la Cruz. Hindi po ba pwedeng isight na lang? Sir, gaya ng nabanggit ko, kapag ginamit natin ang URL link, siya ay nangangailangan ng internet connection talaga. Pero kung gagamitin natin ng download, yun po ay tatakbo ng offline. Now, regarding the copyright issues, kung gusto natin siyang ilagay into a download, uh, we need to make sure na isite natin ang ating sources or references para hindi po tayo magkaroon ng copyright issues. Proper citation is really necessary regarding uh, the creation of this type of material dahil uh, pag sinabi nating e-book writing, 
consider kasi siya na nagki-create tayo ng sarili nating reference tools. So importante na na site natin ang ating mga uh, resources. Big help po 'yon. Salamat. Hi Sir Dale. Hello po. Yeah. So we just like to let uh, all our participants know that we are more than 14,000 sa ating pong uh, DepEd EdTech Unit uh, live. Okay, at sa YouTube naman po, we are almost 4,000. Kanina po ito, siguro like uh, 10 to 15 minutes ago. So, we thank you yeah, sa ating pong mga participants na talagang uh, naka-aantabay po sa atin, sa ating pong webinar ngayon. At uh, siguro, yun po, <laughs> update lang po. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Salamat, Sir Dale. I think we can now proceed to the next part of our activity. Okay, salamat, Sir Dale. So, Earlier, we have the utilization of links, images, and videos. Our material as teachers needs to have exercises also. Di ba dati, pag na-exercise tayo, yung ginagawa natin, iikot tayo, chichikan natin isa-isa. Dito po sa Kotobi, pwede natin siyang gawin na automated. Tama ang inyong narinig, automated, at pwedeng tumakbo kahit offline. So sa mga nagtatanong, so, paano natin siya gagawin na offline? Ituturo ko siya mamaya kung paano gagawin na offline. Pero kailangan, pabuo muna natin yung ecosystem niya. Okay? Again, let's go back to the left side of our screen. Di ba may new chapter? Click lang natin. Choose reflowable layout. This time, lalagay ko ngayon. Roman numeral number four, introduction. Introduction to automated quizzing. O, di ba? Social ngayon. I-automate natin ang ating quizzing. Di ba dati, meron tayo sa basic OER na tinuruan ko kayo mag-automate ng Wondershare, tinuruan namin kayo mag-automate kagaya sa Course Lab. Ngayon naman, Lumipat tayo doon sa advanced OER, tinuruan namin kayo paano mag-automate gamit ang Moodle. Sa proficiency OER, tutulungan namin kayo i-mix and match at tatlong ito. Kaya importante ang session ng lunes. Pero dahil sa activity natin na nakafocus lang tayo sa Kotobi, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano i-link ang isang material na ito. Okay? So, ang ating Roman numeral number four ay Introduction to Automated Quizzing. Make sure that your cursor, when you do that, is always at the center. So Mark, bakit mo laging sinesenter? Ito sagot doon. ba? makikita natin siya sa mobile phone. So kung lagi siyang naka-left, ibig sabihin sa liwa yung ating screen. So hindi siya magiging, uh, yung parang tinatawag natin na balance. So para maging balance siya sa device natin, lagay natin siya sa gitna. Okay po? Now, for the sake of this activity, you need to listen attentively. Bakit? Kasi kapag naka, nalingat ka lang ng isang saglit, hindi mo na ako masusundan. Parang kagaya ito ng model. So, you need to listen to me attentively and pag sinabi kong pindot, pumindot na agad. Okay? Everybody, follow my direction. Let's click sabay-sabay. Click questions. Questions is located at the right side of your screen. Ito po yung questions. Okay? Pindutin lamang yan. Pindot. After clicking, you will be prompted with the word title. Ang title na yun ay hindi talaga title. Directions ang ilalagay dyan. Since for the sake of this activity, I am, for example, a Filipino teacher. O gagawin ko. Ano to? Piliin ang mga... Ah, sorry. Ano to? Sahin ang mga tanong at piliin ang tamang sagot. So, again, for the sake of this activity, you may follow my example. Kindly type now in the title. Sabi ko nga, ang title ay hindi title. Yan ay directions. So, ilagay ninyo, ano to? Basahin ang mga tanong at piliin ang tamang sagot. For the sake of this activity, let's have the same uh, material first before we proceed to the next one, okay? Pakitype na. Gaya ng aking nabanggit kanina, sa activity ng ito, sabay-sabay natin siyang gagawin, ha? So, pakitype na po ang ating title. Hindi talaga title, but yan ay ating 
direction of panuto. So ilalagay panuto, basahin ang mga tanong at piliin ang tamang sagot. Now, I hope you are done. After doing that, allow me to explain these things. Kapag free version, gaya ng ginagamit nyo, ang pwede gamitin dyan true or false, single choice na multiple choice o multiple answer. Pag paid version, gumagana ngayon ang short answer or identification at drag and drop format. Okay? For the sake of this activity, dahil tatlo lang ang available sa inyo, ito ang aking ituturo. Okay po? Huwag magalala, sabi ko nga, ito yung free version kasi. Usable naman po ito. I'll click MCQ multiple answer. Everybody, let's click that. Pindot na po. Okay. Pag pinindot nyo po yun, nagpapakita po yung mga item question. Dito tayo nagta-type. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung meron kang tatlong tanong, kailangan pindutin mo ng tatlong beses din ito. Kunyari, three questions, di ba? Since nalagay ko na yung one, magpipindot lang ako ng dalawa. One, two, and look. Ito yung one, ito yung two, ito yung three. Kada pindot ninyo, lumalabas sa ibaba yung item. Kapag sumobra, I-click lang ang delete para mabura. Again, kinakailangan alam ninyo kung ilang items ang inyong gagawin. For the sake of this activity, we are going to have three questions for multiple answer. Okay? Let's click it three times. Go. One, two, three. Scroll down, tingnan ninyo kung hanggang 3 lang nga. Pag nakita nyo 4, 5 yan, ibig sabihin sumobra kayo sa kakapindot. Kaya pindutin ng X kung sakaling gano'n ang nangyari. Now, I'll give you enough time to do it. Do it now. Handaan, sabayan kami. Dahil pag hindi kayo nakasabay, hindi nyo masusundan to. So, tandaan, ang ating ginagawa ay pagdadagdag ng ating activity. So, para magawa po yun, you just need to choose the MCQ multiple answer dahil ito po yung type na activity na gagawin natin. Okay? Now, I'll have here three questions. Pagtatype ako ngayon ng tanong ko. Halimbawa, number one. Alin ang ang diwa? Piliin ang mga sagot. And then you could put the choices, halimbawa, A, natulog, B, tumangoy, C, lalaki, D, maganda. Ano ang tamang sagot dito? Di ba ang sagot na verb o pandiwa ay natulog at lumangoy? So you indicate the correct answer by pressing it here onto the side. Pag hindi siya correct answer, walang check. Okay? Next, score weight. Ilan ba ang tamang sagot? Dalawa. So, make it two. I hope it's clear. And so, activity again, look at this. Sa ating question number one, ang ginawa ko, tinype ko alin ang pandiwa. Piliin ang mga sagot. And then, I'll type A, B, C, D. Yung choices. I indicated the correct answer. So, nilagay ko po to by putting or providing the check. And then, indicate ko ang score weight, which is 2, dahil dalawa ang tamang sagot. I'll give you enough time to do it. One minute. Type question number one. Go. Again, since our field version is only limited, we need to make our materials very compact. Okay? Very compact po talaga. Hindi natin kaya siyang gawin na very uh, wordy o masyado pong marami dahil uh, ang free version natin ay limited. Hindi uh, hindi sa kanya available yung multiple. So, kinakalang i-compact lang natin siya. At kaya naman po doon ang isang lesson. I hope you are done with it. So sabi ko nga kanina, importante na ilagay natin ang tanong, ilagay natin ang choices, and then select lang natin ang tamang sagot by indicating it and adjust the score weight. Now we are done with question number one.
Now we go to question number two. Sa question number two naman natin, ta-type natin dun yung susunod na tanong. So, gaya ng akin nabanggit kanina, kapag meron kayong tatlong tanong, i-click lang to tatlong beses. Okay? The first one is an MCQ multiple answer. Now, itong dalawa na ating item, buburahin ko. Bakit? Kasi, para makita ninyo kung paano gawin yung ibang item items natin. So, yung MCQ multiple answer, yan po ay may maraming possible na answers. Now, I'll go to the next one. MCQ single choice. Pag sinabi natin MCQ single choice, ito ay klase ng multiple choice pero isa lang ang sagot. For the sake of this activity, I'll make it simple. For example, number two. Ano ang pandiwa? A. Salitang naglalarawan. B. Salitang umahalili sa pangalan. C. Salitang kilos. E. Wala sa nabanggit. So could see, iba ngayon ang itsura ng ating answer button. Naging radio button siya. Okay? Indicate the correct answer. And the score weight is only one. Dahil isa lang ang tamang sagot. Sir, ba't iba yung itsura niya? Ba't radio button? Balikan ninyo ha. Yung nasa taas kanina ay multiple answer. Ito ngayon, multiple choice pero isa lang ang tamang sagot. Okay? For the sake of this activity, Set number two, copy the question and copy the choices, indicate the correct answer, and put the score weight. Hands-on activity. For one minute, go. Again, if ever you are having difficulty in access to our webinar session, you could always go back and review the material in our FB page or even in YouTube. Okay? Sir, hello, Sir Mark. Yes po, Ma'am Apple. Yes. Sir, baka gusto niyo pong uminom po ulit. And also, mm -hmm. our participants, baka kailangan po nilang, ano, at tawag na ito, uminom din and maybe call of nature also. <laughs> yes po, sure, we could give them uh, five two minutes, minutes for po? it. Okay, two okay. minutes for it, sir. sure po. At ready ang aking two minutes. Salamat, Sir Mark. Baka hindi. Baka kapi sa hindi sila, baka alis-alis sa upuan, sir. Baka pagbalik, nawala na yan. Sige, sir, salamat po. Sure po. Thank you, Ma'am yes, Apple. So for those who are done with our question number two, that's good. Kung hindi pa po, huwag kayong mag-alala. Hindi kami nagmamadali. And I've said you could always go back into our webinar recording or to our webinar videos regarding the session. Salamat. So, ang ating ginagawa ngayon ay ang pag-create ng interactive questions. So, gumawa na tayo kanina tungkol sa uh, multiple uh, choice or multiple response question. And then, yung isa naman, single choice lang siya. Okay? Again, I will not proceed. I'm giving you enough time to have your help break sa mga gustong umihi, sa mga gustong uminom. You could do that. Okay? So I hope you are done uh, typing. So ang ating part 4 ay introduction na po ng ating automated quizzing. In typing down your question, it is necessary to type the question number. Okay? Dahil pag hindi natin nilagay yung question number, ang mangyayari po pag view natin, wala rin po yung question number. Yung question po na nakalagay dito or yung indicated number, that is only a, an indicator kung anong item po siya. But we still need to type what number it is. Okay? So, if you are a tutor that you would like to supplement learnings for your uh, tutee, pwede nyo pong magamit ito. Kung kayo ay teacher, 
na gustong mag-deliver ng different format of modality ng ating uh, instruction pag nagkita na po kayo or face-to-face or gusto nyo pong mag- magawit interactively using your LMS, you could also utilize this one. But again po, please make sure to cite your resources properly, put citations if needed, put the references if needed dahil importante na kapag ginawa natin ang material na ito, properly cited ang lahat. So again, tinuturo po namin ito para magkaroon lang po kayo ng idea how to, uh, to in how to create uh, an interactive material using an e-book para in case po na hingiin ang tulong ninyo ng inyong mga EPS, kung sakaling uh, mag-develop or mag-enhance ng material, pwede po kayo makatulong. Again, importante na ma-quality assure ang mga kagamitang ito before publishing it or before spreading it. Importante na ito ay na-review ng mabuti ng ating mga heads, okay? O ng ating uh, respective division offices dahil ang ating material ay importante na quality assure para hindi po tayo mababalikan at sasabihin na kung mali-mali yung contents na nagawa. And please make sure, again, to cite the references or the sources. So I hope uh, nagawa na po ninyo yung item 1 at item 2. Now, how to put an interactive content gamit naman ang true or false? Okay, so let's proceed na po. Ang ginawa natin kanina, pindot natin di ba yung mismong question. Ngayon, pindutin natin yung true or false. Pag pinindot nyo po yun, ayan, lalabas po yung ganito lang ka -exe. Kasi you could customize that. So paano i-customize? First, type nyo muna yung tanong. Kunyari, number three. Ang salitang patutulog ay isang pilos na ginawa Ay, sorry. Ang salita ay matutulog ay isang kilos para sa ang hinaharap. So, ang salita ay matutulog ay isang kilos para sa pang hinaharap. Ngayon, syempre, di ba Tagalog yung question ko? Kinakailangan ng option, tama o mali. So, to do that, hit it and you could edit the choices. Click edit choices. So, pwede ninyong... Palitan yung first choice na true, maging tama. At yung second choice, maging mali. Pag ito ay nagawa na, click apply changes. So, mapapalitan nyo po yung ating choices doon. So, again, how to edit it? Lalakyan ko po ah. Di ba pag na-type ninyo yung mismong tanong, by default, nakalagay kasi doon true or false. You could edit the choices, click edit choices. And then, Change the word, kanina kasi di ba nakalagay dito, true. Palitan nyo lang siya ng tama. Yung second choice, kanina nakalagay ay false. Palitan nyo ng mali. And then after that, click the word, apply changes. Okay. Ngayon, kung ano ang tamang sagot doon sa ating choice, indicate mo lang kung yun ba ay tama o mali. So, kunyari, ang sagot dyan ay mali, choose mali. Since ang sagot dito sa ang salitang matutulog ay isang kilos para sa panghinaharap, the correct answer is tama, so indicate that. So I hope na-explain ko po na maayos kung paano gawin yung true or false type of question at kung paano i-edit or i-customize sa inyong sariling mother tongue, yung mismo word na hinahanap po doon. Okay? So I'm giving you one minute again to do that. Paano siya i-edit? Click lang po yun at may salitang edit choices. At kapag na-edit na, i-click lamang po yung violet button to apply the changes. Okay? One minute for this item sa baba, sa number three, para sa true or false. One minute, begin. Reminder in our creation of this type of material, we need to cite our references, cite our resources, cite the needed materials properly para maiwasan po ang copyright issues. Other than that, we need to make sure that the material is quality assured before delivering it or sharing it. Kasi po, importante na ma-double check talaga siya para maiwasan natin yung sinasabi, ay mali po yung information na nakalagay. Okay? Again, you have one minute to do that. 
I hope you are enjoying our activity, learning how to put the links, learning how to put the different images, how to put an attachment video or a link video, and the quizzing. I hope you are done uh, doing item number three. If you are having difficulty in connection, as I mentioned earlier, you could always go back and review the webinar sessions that we have. Okay. Now, if everything is set, ang susunod natin na gagawin ay ito. Tignan niyo mabuti yung tuktok, ang nakalagay score only. Palitan po yan at gawing score and answer record. Again, on the upper portion, it says here score only. Please make sure to change it to score and answer report. Once you have changed that, we are ready to change also our options. Okay? Yung options, ito po yung settings natin. Okay? By default, kapag free account, hindi po natin ma-customize yung ibang mga buttons. But don't worry, pwede naman po natin ma-edit ang ilan sa mga ito. Click options. And look, we need to adjust the following items. Parang mathematical term lang po siya. Number of questions. Ilang tanong ba ginawa natin? Tatlo. So change it to three. And then look at the total score. Ilan ang total score na ginawa natin? Sa number one, may dalawang tamang sagot. Sa number two, isa. Sa number three, isa rin. So all in all, meron akong four points. Anong passing score ko? Two. So these are the things na kinakailangan natin makonsider when we are creating an interactive material or quizzing sa ating ebook. Dapat na-determine kung ilan ang question, na-determine ang total score, at na-determine kung ano ang ating passing grade. For the sake of this activity, I highly suggest not to check the email address for the report. Bakit? Kasi kapag nilagay niyo ang email address niyo dyan at connected dyan sa internet, you will receive the report and their scores. So, ang suggestion ko po, huwag na lang po muna lagyan dahil uh, ito ay isang supplemental tool lang naman po. Okay? Again, when you hit the options, ito po ang ating field na papalitan. Number of questions to 3. Passing score is 2. Total score is 4. It is dependent in the creation na inyong ginawa. If everything is done, hit the word create. At magpapakita po yung inyong ginawang material. Okay, again, hindi natin siya makiklik dito dahil ito ay nasa editing view. To visualize it how it works, hit the word customize. After hitting the word customize, ang susunod po natin gagawin ay ikiklik natin yung, ito po yung table of contents tool, click it para makajump tayo dun sa next item. So, sasagutan po siya ng bata, for example, ako, natulog, lumangoy. Correct answers muna yung lalagay ko, ah. Uh, salitang kilos. Tama. And when I submit answers, sasabihin niya yung correct. O, oh, di ba? Sasabihin niya correct. And then after that, look, oh, lumalabas yung answer key. So, ibig sabihin nun, alam ka agad ng bata yung score niya after the activity. It's an interactive way how we could have an assessment or question type format na ay, ang galing, lumalabas ka agad yung sagot. So, hindi siya kagaya ng flat PDF before na ang nangyayari, susulat niya yung sagot, tapos check-checkan ni teacher. Ito po, automatic kahit hindi tayo nagkaroon ng face-to-face, -face, pwede po nilang ulit-ulitin yung activity. So, pwedeng i-clear yung answer at sagutan ulit. So, it's a matter of providing a practice exercise for our learners gamit ang ating ebook material. So I hope nakuha po natin kung paano gamitin ang automated quizzing material. Okay? So again, if you do have questions, mangyayari po lamang na ibigay ang mga tanong at pwede po itong masagot ng ating moderators. Okay? So maraming maraming salamat. I hope na intindihan po natin kung paano ginagamit ang facility ng ating quizzing. These are the basic tools on how we could create our materials. In this activity, you have learned how to put links, how to put an image, how to put gallery material, how to put a video, and how to put a quizzing. We cannot uh, 
deliver the topic all in one compact material for only three hours. So I highly suggest to join us in the proficiency OER dahil doon po namin i-discuss ang iba pang parts ng paggamit ng Kotobi author. These are the basics in utilizing and creating this material. Now, let's proceed to our content. Give a book title for it. For example, this is a demo material. After doing that, after creating a title for your book title, you could simply hit the word save. At yan po ay magagamit na natin na material para mabuksan ang ating content. In your, uh, in your installer, it was mentioned that there is a Kotobi reader. Ang Kotobi reader ay ginagamit para mabuksan ang alinmang kagamitan sa Kotobi author. For your cell phone, kinakailangan na download ang app na Kotobi Reader. Since I am using a desktop computer, I have here the downloaded Kotobi Reader. Nakikita po ninyo ang aking Kotobi Reader. So, kanina sinave po ang aking material. Para mabuksan ko yun, I'll click Open EPUB File. Locate that file in my computer to load it. Okay? So again, para mabuksan, kinakilangan hanapin yun. Diba? Nilagyan ko siya ng file name na R1. So I'll click that. I'll click open. See? Ito ngayon ang ating ebook. So kung mapapansin po ninyo, ganito ang... Itura niya kasi hindi ko naman talaga siya dinesign specifically na para po siyang isang libro. Dahil ang ginawa ko po, pinakita ko lang po sa inyo yung functionality kung paano siya lumabas. Okay? So pag kinilik yung letrang U, ayan siya. Meron siyang pop-up message. Pag kinilik yung unggoy, may picture siya. Pag kinilik yung upo, may picture siya. Pag kinilik yung paksa, letrang U, attachment siya na folder para ma-save ko, di ba? So, tatakbo siya ng offline. Pag kinilik ko yung Google, link naman siya. So, kung specific URL. Yan yung ginawa natin kanina. Now, let's jump. Punta tayo sa Introduction to Images. So, lahat ng ginawa natin ngayon, kanina sa Kotobi Author, mabubuksan natin siya sa Kotobi Reader. Ang reader po, ang specific reader na makakapagbukas ng ginawa natin sa ating material. So, ito po, oh, nakikita ninyo yung animated icon, yung flat icon na hindi po gumagalaw. And then, we could also have the videos. Everything that we have placed earlier in our Kotobi will run smoothly. Sir, paano siya bubukas sa phone? Ngayon na nasagutan muna ang mga pagsasabi. Dahil ang nabanggit ko kanina, you need to make sure na na-install sa inyong cellphone yung material. Pag na-install na po yun, use the charging cable plug to copy and paste it in, in your phone. Pag na-copy po yun, i-open nyo lang yung material at bubukas na ito offline. So paano siya i-share sa aming mga learners? Kapag nagkaroon na po tayo ng face-to-face -face in the future, pwede po siya matransfer via Bluetooth or via share it. So yung mga materials po na ito ay pwede siyang tumakbo kahit na tayo ay offline. So I'll jump now to automated using. So ito po, pwede nilang sagutan. Kunyari mali yung sagot ko. Submit answer. Zero ang lalabas. Okay? At sasabihin niya question one, incorrect. So these are the materials on how we could put our uh, instructional tool in a very compact way in utilizing Kotobi Author. I hope you have learned something new, you have learned a new skill, and uh, with these things, makakatulong po yun sa pag-create ng ating material. Sir, bakit ganun? Bakit gray? Kaya siya gray dahil hindi natin nilagyan ng cover ang ating ebook. We will teach you how to create an interactive material to put a very uh, pleasing cover dun po sa ating proficiency OER para magkaroon po kayo ng idea paano po siya ginagawa. Kutubi author can be used as an audiobook. 
this is just a sample, okay? So, ito po yung mga created materials para magkaroon po kayo ng idea ano ang pwedeng gawin sa mga ebook content na ito. So, if we have a story, we could even attach an audio. Kahit makalat na ang sala nila, ay patuloy pa rin ang kanilang paglalaro. And if you click next, it will proceed to the next picture. Sir, bakit ganun? Kasi po, ang gamit ko ay desktop. So, depende sa orientation ng inyong desktop kung anong magiging itsura. Pagkatapos maglaro, pinaliguan ni Desa si Bitoy. Masaya si Bitoy habang pinaliguan. Now, if we click this one, this is the table of contents at pwede kayong tumalon from page to page. So again, ang design ng inyong book o e-book ay nakadepende kung paano nyo siya ilalagay sa inyong table of contents. So this is just one example. Now, I'll jump to a next material. Kami po ay currently nagko-convert ng ADM materials in preparation for first quarter para po kahit na hindi po maging possible muna ang face-to-face -face instruction, makakapag-deliver po tayo in one aspect. So kagaya ng nabanggit sa ibang interviews, hindi lamang po online ang ating nakikita na modality. Medyo, meron po tayong print material, yung modular print, at isa rin po ang paggamit ng e-books. So again, wala po tayong iisang solusyon na ginagamit. Ituturo po namin ang iba't ibang para, pamamaraan ng mga ito. So for example, ito po yung ADM material. Nakang dati, flat PDF po siya. Ito po, interactive. So, pwede nila makita yung answer key. Pwede po siyang mag-type. And once they click submit, makikita yung tamang sagot at nakakustomize siya. Okay? Next. Bukod po doon, pag tinignan ninyo yung last portion, nakalagay yung sanggunian, we need to make sure na nilalagay natin ang ating references at ito po sa bagduli yung instruction video. Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Narito ako upang gabayan ka sa ating aralin para sa unang markahan. Ating tatalakayin sa unang module ang paksa tungkol sa lokasyon at teritoryo ng Pilipinas. Handa ka na bang matuto? Tandaan, makinig lang maputi upang maintindihan at maunawaan ang aralin. Kung sakaling may hindi maunawa ang bahagi, maaari mong balikan ang video ito. And as you could see, our learners can even forward the material and listen directly doon sa instruction. Sa Pilipinas. Ang Taiwan ay makikita sa gawing hilaga ng Pilipinas. Ang mga bansang Indonesia at East Timor naman ang makikita sa timog na bahagi ng ating bansa. So as you could see in our ebook material, nakalagay ang ating content, nilagay natin sa dulo yung nagtuturo yung teacher kung paano i-deliver yung content. In this way, we are providing our learners a creative tool kung paano itinuturo ang isang instruction. At kung dati, paulit-ulit tayo nag explain sa klase, ito po, gagawin lang ng learner pag hindi naintindihan, go back and play. Dagat celebes. At kung gusto nilang i-forward sa isang material, they can do that also. Kaanin, hilagang kanluran. So it's a matter of providing our learners a very creative tool na likha po ng isang guro. But please need to make sure that these are quality assured. Now I'll sharing to you another material para po sa ating app. So ang mga pinapakita ko po sa inyo ay yung mga kagamitan na makikita natin in the future. This coming first quarter, in preparation for first quarter, yan po ay makikita sa ating DepEd Commons. And we are assuring the public that we are ready with the new normal. Kaya po, tinitrain natin ang ating mga guro kung paano po gamitin ang mga kagamitang ito. So, this is one example also. As you could see, there is a table of contents. Pag kinilip po ng mga users yun, it will jump to the material. So, as you could see, yung dating black and white, nagkaroon po ng color, and enhance po siya. Ayan. So, kung dati, Boring type yung material. Ngayon po, 
there is an interactive part. Okay? So, yan ay nakadepende sa pagdidesenyo ng ating mga guro. And, as you could see, kung meron pong mga materials na kinakailangan na i-click to give emphasis, nandun po siya nakalagay. Okay? Like answer key. If there is a certain video that needs to be added, gaya po nito, to give an emphasis or a specific direction, kinakailangan natin siyang isite sa ating sources. Gaya po nito, oh, binibigyan natin ng credits yung video nyo and it will run now even Sponges offline. Sponges are very effective filter feed. Tube sponges are even more spectacular to observe. So as you could see, these are the materials that DepEd can now create. We are now like a private school. Hindi tayo paghuhulihan ngayon ng panahon dahil lahat ng mga makabagong innovation or innovative materials will still be deployed and we will help our teachers to be capacitated and be empowered to be ready with the new normal. So I hope sa itong mga nakita na aming na-share sa ebook development using Kotobi, you will be inspired in creating a uh, meaningful materials which is helpful for our learners but making sure that you cited the references properly and then make sure that it is quality assured. I hope sa inyong mga nakita at natutunan sa araw na ito, makatulong ito sa inyo bilang mga guro ng makabagong panahon. Maraming maraming salamat po for staying with us. If you have questions, we have enough time to answer it before we close the webinar session at 12 yeah. Thank you. Ma'am Aprilin yes, and Sir Dale. Yes, Sir Mark. So thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Mark, for that very uh, informative at saka napaka-detailed ng uh, inyo pong pagbabahagi ng pong, ating pong e-book development. So I am very much sure na talagang makatutulong po ito sa ating pong mga kaguruan, especially sa ating new normal. Di ba, Ma'am April? Nakamute po. Ma'am, I still can't hear you, Ma'am April. Hey. Oh, Ayan. sorry. So, napaka-comprehensive and informative po siya dahil mapapansin po natin sa lahat ng mga comments ng ating mga participants and even all participants in different areas and corners ng ating bansa, makikita natin na happy-happy po ang lahat dahil yeah. aside sa interesting, napakalaki daw po ng maitutulong nito, Sir Mark. Yeah. So maybe we we can yes, yes sir. Mark. Sir, yeah. Actually, yung share ko na ginawa natin for Kutubi, that's the baseline skills. Pag sinabi natin baseline skill, yan po yung uh, pag natutunan yun, makakakreate na o makakagawa. But of course, it's different when we talk about a proficiency OER training. Dahil dun ituturo ko paano ang 3D development, paano ang augmented reality development, paano ililink ang HTML, Paano ilalagay yung mga automation? Paano pagagandahin yung layout? Lahat makikita nila sa ating proficiency OER ng Monday and Tuesday. Intensive yun. Kaya oh. maganda na may background na sila regarding it. But of course, it's different pag sinabi natin kasing level ng OER training like proficiency. Ayan po. Okay. Sir, we have some question here. Okay. Uh, from Sir Edwin. So, may I ask po, paano po natin makukuha ang mga real-time scores ng mga bata after nilang magsagot through Kotobi po? Like, pwede ba siyang masend sa email? Okay. Sir, uh, Sir Edwin, ito po ang sagot ko dyan. We utilize Kotobi as a supplemental tool. If you would like to utilize it as a form or format na nakokorek na ang scores, I highly suggest not to do that but utilize a learning management system like Edmodo, a Google Classroom, or any LMS na may free features naman po. Dahil kinakailangan, being a teacher, alam natin kung saan natin ililinya ang mga programa. If Kotobi is utilized as a supplemental tool, then be it. Pag ito ay ginamit natin as an assessment tool, then be it. Kinakailangan alam natin ang definition niya. And as the EdTech head, ganun po i-instruct ang ating public school teachers na hindi natin gagawing magulo ang format. If it is for a supplemental tool, supplemental tool but do not record or do not gather the course dahil supplemental lang siya. But if it is in terms of assessment, then we utilize a platform for it. 
So gaya ng akin na banggit, Kotobi is a supplemental tool, not an assessment tool. So gagamitin natin siya sa ganong format. But if you would like to utilize it na iyong na gusto mo siya magamit as uh, grasping of different contents, pwede po ninyong magamit. Kaso sir, ito ang critical dyan. Kung meron kang isang libong estudyante, ready ka na bang magpasa ng isang libong email na kanilang score? So, yun lang pros and cons nun. Kaya sinasabi natin lagi when we talk about e-learning, kinakailangan alam natin kung kailan siya ilalagay sa LMS at kung kailan siya ilalagay as a supplemental tool. Lahat ng ito ay aking ituturo sa ating future webinar scheduled in May. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron po tayo doon how to prepare our teachers in a new classroom, uh, in a new normal classroom setup. So, yeah. doon po siya i-discuss. Okay? Wow. Salamat for the question. Okay, thank you, Sir Mark. Uh, so, yun po, ano? So, this is just a supplement. Napakagaling po talaga at napakaganda. So, thank you. And, uh, Ma'am, mayroon tayong uh, kong dito from John Hill Camacho. So sabi po niya, matuto ang mga ALS teachers and learners. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, John. Actually, kapag naitabangan niyo po ang proficiency aware kasi ituturo namin paano maglagay ng interactive content. So yung interactive content sa ito, hindi ko na ituro ngayon dahil limited ang ating time. Uh, we really love the ALS teachers and ALS learn, learners. Sabi nga nila, ay baka na left behind kami. Hindi po. Pag tinukoy natin ang Digital Rice Program, lahat po ay sama-sama. It is inclusive. Kasama po dito, even our SPED teachers and SPED learners. Okay? Ayun. So, thank you, sir. There is another question from Joe Paul Peralta. Possibly po ba na i-hidden? or i-hide muna ang answer key para po malaman natin kung talagang nagsagot ang bata ng maayos? Thank you po. Again, with, uh, with that question, nasa inyong design po yun. Nasa inyong design. Since our uh, modular design is that there is an answer key, ito ay pagbibigay natin ng uh, tinatawag natin na digital footprint at digital citizenship platform sa ating mga mag-aaral. We need to train them how to be responsible users of technology. Oo, nilagay natin doon ang answer key, but we need to assure in our future assessment and uh, future activities that it is aligned to support that. Hindi natin nilalagay yung answer key doon para maging madaya sila na, ay, makikita ko agad yung sagot eh. No, we put that one as a way na matulungan sila kung ano ang sagot na yun because alam niyo yan, Constant practice makes perfect. At paulit-ulit siyang tinatanong, naaalala natin ang sagot. So, ganun po ang proseso na ating itinuturo din sa ating mga learners. So, it's a matter of designing it and put it in, into a place na paano natin siya gustong i-reflect sa ating mga learners. Dahil at the end of the day, pinaka-important ang dashboarding o ang tinatawag nating storylining ng ating gawa. Dahil kapag hindi natin wala tayong uh, proper objective kung bakit natin ginagawang isang e-learning tool, then it will not be successful. Kotobi is used as a supplemental material tool to augment learning. So, yun po ang ating target sa kanya. Okay? Thank you. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you po, sir. Ma'am uh, April, I think there's a, a comment sa ating pong, uh, YouTube live. Go ahead, ma'am. Ayun. May question? We have here a comment coming from Ma'am Mary Vic Barnachea. Ayun. Um, problem ko lang po sa math kasi sa pag-encode po namin sa math, need po namin math equation. Available din po ba math equation sa Kotobi? Ayan na. Sir. Ang sabi po po yan, Ma'am Mary Vic, yes. Actually, mas madali yeah. ang pag-encode ng math equation sa Kotobi. Yan ay magiging bahagi ng aming... Uh, presentation sa proficiency OER. So in here, we are giving techniques on how to attach certain mathematical equations, whether it is in radical formulas, ito pa ay uh, integral equation, integral part ng isang question sa, like sa calculus, ituturo po namin ang mga techniques na yun. Actually, when we deliver the training to our EPS in math, nagulat sila na ganun lang pala siya kadali. So for our math teachers who would like to learn about it, Proficiency OER is on the way. Monday na po yun at Tuesday. Maraming salamat. Ayun. So there's one more, sir. Uh, Sophia Marbella Factor. So pwede po ba siya as supplemental? Pero pwede din po siya as a tool as 
to face to face, sir? The answer to that is yes. Um, mm -hmm. I just gave a short story, okay? I am a former uh, administrator and teacher in La Salle Green Hills, the very first school who have utilized ebooks in the country in terms of uh, delivering the mobile learning in the classroom. Doon po nakita ko, ah, PDF format at naging ipag format. With that, sabi ko, sana dumating ang panahon na ang teachers, ma-empower niya ang sarili niya how to create this type of materials. And when I discovered to be author, sabi ko kagad, hindi kinakailangan maging programmer ng isang teacher para makagawa ng ibo. Then, with your question, if it is face-to-face, -face, it is possible. Kung yung dating mga handouts natin na kinakailangan natin magpaserox, why not utilize the power of technology utilizing it? It's free. Bluetooth, Bluetooth lang yan or share it, share it, di ba? Kaya sa ating mga participants na nasa college, ayan, yung mga soon-to-be teachers, try to utilize Adobe and I'm sure you will be delighted on how to utilize this tool. Yung ating mga kaibigan sa higher education, Di ba nagbibigay sila ng syllabus, nagbibigay sila ng course outline? Why not create it in an e-book format? Naka, andun nakaproject ang lahat, isang pindot lang siya. So masasabi natin na ang edtech ngayon ay hindi lang napakasimple. It could be a complex format, but our teachers will learn how to utilize it in a very efficient way. Mandali lang siya. Dahil, sabi ko nga, basta marunong kang mag-type, Marunong ka mag-copy paste, marunong ka mag-delete, at sumunod ng tamang panuto, you will survive EdTech. Ayun. Ayun. So, thank you, thank you so Lahat much, Sir Mark. <laughs> Ayun nga yes. po. Ang kagandahan talaga, ma'am, ng ating pong webinar ngayon ay talagang uh, Sir Mark just taught all of our participants and all those who have joined us uh, live na basic, fundamental mm -hmm. ng ating yes. pong ebook development. Ayan. Yes, Pag tayo ay gumawa ng ganitong klase ng material and we deploy it, make sure na na quality assure siya. As teachers, it is our responsibility to make our work original. Kung hindi siya original, cite it properly. Okay? Yes, Kailangan Pastor Mark. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbabahagi. Thank you. Thank you so much po. Ayan, so uh, I think uh, with regards to the output, ma'am, how is uh, how will our participants submit? Okay, so with regards to our output, as per I know, um, we will be giving them the link. If a flash po later on sa screen, ni Sir Papa, ayan, our director, ayan, nahalagay po dyan kung saan po nila submit and phrase ang kailangan with their selfie. And then the second one, it should be their, their skin shots, kung ano yung mga ginawa nila. So, dapat nasundan po natin kung ano yung mga process, kung ano yung ginawa ni Sir Mark kanina. Ayun. Instead na yung actual ang ibibigay sa only the screenshot para hindi po masyadong mabigat yung file para isubmit po sa ating link. Ayan. So, with regards to that, ayan na po siya. Ma'am Apple, could you please Ito po explain ngayon, to yung them ano Thank you. Yes. Lang po. Okay, tingnan po natin mabuti kung ano yung nakikita natin mabuti yung nandiyan po sa ating sa ating screen. Kung paano po siya gawin, yung sample po natin para para specific po siya. Ayan. Um announcement lang po, sir. Lalong-lalo lalo na po sa mga nagtatanong Um, yung iba po, walang pangalan. Yung iba po, baka sa ibang division yung names nila. Um, dahil po ito sa akin pag-sword. At wag po kayong mag-alala kasi po yung iba nag-aalala. Baka hindi na sila makasali at hindi po sila makatanggap ng certificate. Pero po, wag po kayong mag-worry dahil ito na po yung final na form. Ibibigay kung saan din po kayo magsasabit ng inyong output. Kasi yung output po, yun po yung basis po natin ng ating e-certificate po, kung saan doon po kayo mabibigyan ng digital certificate. So, ibig sabihin, kahit po tayo registered, kahit may pangalan po tayo doon sa ating memo, kung wala po tayong output, hindi rin po tayo makakataga. Pero ang good news po doon, aba, syempre, nabusog po tayo ngayon sa lessons, sa lectures, sa session na ibinigay ni Sir Mark. Siya yan, maraming yeah, yeah. So, thank you, thank you so much po.
after March. Ayun. So, I think... Uh, Pwede natin ibigay kung kailan ang deadline of submission. Ayan, that's the <laughs> best answer. Yes, sir. Uh, for sure, alam ko kahit work from home po tayo, marami pong, ayan, uh, marami po tayong ginagawa pa rin. So, I think I, we will be giving you one week. So, it's lucky seven. So, meron kayong seven days. So, sa pang seventh day, ayan, <laughs> yung pang seventh day po natin should be sa 12 noon, magklo-close na po siya. Wala na pong hihirit doon. Kasi it's, sa, sa seven days na yun, I'm sure marami na po tayong magagawa. Or else, the earlier, the better. Ayan po tayo. So, ano po ba ngayon? It's already May 7. The deadline would be on May 14. Okay. Yeah. 13? 13. Oh, 13. Another lucky number. So, the lucky number for today is 7. It's May 7. And then, 7 days. So, it should be on May 13. Kailangan po, maibigay po natin, ang, may submit po natin ang ating mga output. And, take note po, closing time, 12 noon po ng May 13. Ayun, wala na rin pong hihirit doon. Ayan! Ayan. So, uh, nalaman na po natin. So, just take note po sa ating pong uh, Link sa ating pong pagsasamitan Ayan. po ng ating output. Sir Dale, okay. ito po, yes, pinapikita po. po sa atin ngayon ni Sir Mark Anthony Papa ang ating form, kung yung link and form, kung, sa, kung ano yung gagawin, kung ano yung proper para mas specific siya. Hindi na yung basta-basta, okay. lalong-lalo na po ay um, specific na yung mga divisions kung saan sila na rapat mag-submit. Ayan. Yes, Hindi po. na po siya in general. Ayan po. Yes po, ayan. So nakikita po natin ano, yung uh, kung paano po ang itsura niya. Yes po. Uh, remind lang natin na since we have delivered it using the EdTech uh, page, this activity is meant for Region 1. Yes! Actually, yung iba first time nga lang sir, nagulat din po kami, lalong lalo na yung binigay mong link sir. As in, for the very first time, it's proficiency. Ayan. Ayan. Yes. At kayo ang una-unang nakatikin, pero hindi pa kompleto yun ha. Kinakailangan nilang umatin ng, siyempre, siguro natin doon yung ibang functionality ng kutubi. Hindi kakayanin ng tatlong oras kasi. Yun, yun. Pero maganda, may background sir, na sila. Sir Mark, patikim pa lang yan, pero nakita naman natin. Ah, yes, sir. Patikim pa lang po yan, sir, pero nakita natin yung ganda and flow nitong ating program, sir. Ayan. Yeah. Sir Dale, baka naman po pwede rin po natin, uh, pwede rin po tayo magpasalamat. Ayan. Dahil, yes. Uh, malapit siguro. na rin pong mag-12. It's already 11.52. <laughs> Ayan. Nakuha po natin yung time po natin. So we would yeah, like yeah. also so, to take our regional director yes. Region 1. Um, of course, we have direct, um, director uh, Talente de Joaquino. Ayan. Yes, our regional director in Region 1. Maraming maraming salamat po. And syempre, hindi na po namin isa-isahin, pero kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa lahat po ng ating mga ITOs. Yes, sa lahat sir. po ng divisions. We have 14 divisions in Region 1. Big, big things po. And to all the supportive SDS po, lahat po yes, sila yeah. supporta sa ating Dahil... Remember, sir, we have 14 divisions and lahat, they are all present. Thank you very much po. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much and po sa amin po SDS. We have more than 23,000, almost more, uh, I should say, 23,000 wow. um, official um, participants po sa region. Oh, wow. Maraming, maraming. Ayun. Ayun. Ang galing. Okay, thank you very much po. Yeah. Yes, so, many of you have uh, any words to say or wisdom of course, or Dale? Siguro shout out lang ulit sa aking pong kuhan, sa aking pong division. Yeah. Uh, yaman na rin lang na nandito ako muli po. Thank you, SDO Urdaneta City, headed by our school division superintendent, Ma'am Pati Mabuado. And of course, our assistant school division superintendent, Ma'am Che Cabrera. Thank you so much po. At syempre, ang aming pong partner sa ICTS dito, ang ITO po namin, Sir Junar Reliorta. Thank you so much po sa lahat ng schools teachers na talagang sumuporta po yeah. sa ating pong webinar ngayon. Thank you so much po.
Ayan, ma'am. Apo, okay, go ahead. Okay, agyam na akmat na rin, sir. Uh, Lashan, one minute. Agyam na akmat ako kay ni SDS me, ni attorney, um, Balderas Jr. po, kay ni IPO ni Mat. Nga naligtak ni sir uh, John Philip Buado. Agyam na ako, sir. Tiin pa ayaw asoporta iti dahil ito yung webinar. Ayan, thank you. Thank you very much po. At may isang nagpa-shout out kasi May po ngayon at birthday niya. Uh, co-teacher ko po sa Kinabit Elementary School and other than si Sir Rasek Cesar B. Stillery III. Sir, um, happy, happy birthday. Ayan. Ayun. Once again, thank you very much, Sir. Sir Mark Anthony C. Yes, for the limitless support from Region 1 to our direct Sir Mark Anthony C. Papa. At isa sa mga kinukulit-kulit po natin si Sir Raymond uh, Kasama of, syempre, Pinagmamalaki po yan ng Cavite Division. And also, Sir Alan Palaganas, thank you very much po sa assistance. At sa lahat po ng ating ETU specialist, thank you very yeah. much po, thank sir. Thank you po. Ayan. Of course, to my host, co-host, Sir <laughs> Dale. Thank you very much. Thank po, you rin po for having me once more. Thank you so much po. Thank you po. Thank you. Have a good day. God bless. Day. Ingat Bye-bye po. po lahat. God bless. God bless. Ba ang balita kinakabahan nag-aalangan kulay sa Pinoy ay nakaisa sa isang bandila o bayan po lilipas din pagsubok na to basta't maka Salud sa'yo, oh, 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 oh 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 Yakan natin na ang kalikasan Ang sugat niya'y sugat na Oh, 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 oh,